Okay, Carlo Ancelotti is under pressure. After spending so much money on players like Hakimi and also Erling Holland, this team is simply underperforming and also in danger of not making it out of the group stage of the Champions League. So this man is in danger of being sacked. It seems like he has this episode to prove that he's still the best man to lead this team forward. He did a great job last season, but it's not about last season. It's about this season. And maybe there's some other managers in world football that would get the best out of this squad. This episode will decide that. So drop a like, hit that sub button down below if you have not. This is, uh, this is quite a big episode. Okay. Okay, really quick so i am moving on monday so this video and the next video we're gonna skip the press conference because i gotta pre-record some videos so they'll be back but this is only for two more episodes of course including this one so in the last episode we found the south african Lionel messi i mean at least that's what we're calling him he plays like messi his his stats look like messi so yeah and uh, nico williams still hurt till december so uh kamalo doesn't have a chance to prove himself even further on the bench but we're in danger of getting grouped in the champions league so we got leipzig away then we got celtic at home this will make or break our season and also could pause possibly save Carlo Ancelotti's job. Okay, first game is going to be a 1-0 win courtesy of CR7. I mean, that's a slight win, but it's still a win. All right, so Leipzig. Actually, if we win this game, it confirms us going through. Because I don't know if it's going to be first or second, but we eliminate Leipzig if we win this game. If we lose, then it opens up a, a very bad can of worms. So simply put, this is just a must win game. So win this game and it helps a lot. Lose it and I might get a little bit annoyed. So we know which outcome we want and let's get it now. We are full strength here. We got everyone on the team. This should be a win. Is it going to be? All right, now our Alaba, Alaba. Alaba has been probably our best center back out of, uh, out of the three. Oh, they're gonna score. They're gonna score. Oh my, Rudiger? That wasn't even me, that was the AI. They just made a goal-saving tackle. Man, why do Leipzig play so well against us? They are just a team that every single time puts us through a lot of trouble. We can't let this go to match day six. Hakimi, Hakimi, great steal that is. We gotta settle this right now, Holland. Give it to Benzema, Benzema, wait for Holland. Benzema, Benzema, oh, that touch ruined it. Oh, that should have been a one-on-one. -on -one. Vinicius, Vinicius. They're laying off of you, Vinicius. Oh man, his long shots are very, very bad. They're just like insanely, in what a header. I just forgot what I was talking about. Vinicius, up to Benzema, Benzema can't get it. Man, this is a hectic start. Just the game feels so awkward. Ronaldo, to Vinicius. Vinicius outside the boot shot. It's gonna be saved by Galachi. Mr. Ancelotti, your job is in question. Vinicius crossing Benzema, Benzema. Oh, is it gonna be Vardy? Oh, no, it's not. Get it to CR7, CR7. He's gonna stop. Oh, okay, he just got tackled. I wanted to draw a foul there, we did not. Duamini though, great steal. Vinicius, into Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Oh, camera, please, camera. Oh my God, the camera did not even catch up there. Okay, that's gonna be one. Okay, that's gonna be him all. I'll take that free kick. This is CR7 range or Alaba. No, it's gotta be Ronaldo. It's gotta be Mr. CR7. Be more specific. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Noodle. Ronaldo free kick all into the back of the net. CR7's free kicks are so good. It doesn't matter what age. His free kicks are just. They're just timeless. It's just perfectly hit over the wall. They jump, still can't get it, and then it literally hits the corner of the goal post. You can't get much more perfect than that. That is why the man is on free kicks, and it's 1-0 to Real Madrid. Well, that's what we needed to take control of this game. Now, let's not lose it. Benzema Holland, why are you so wide? Holland, get back on the inside. Thank you. Get back. Oh, man. Vinicius was going to be so open there. We just can't find the right pass right now. Totally. Oh, man. This is a solid move. Ozyman is a danger, man. Oh, I let him through. He's going to score. I let Osman through. Why did I leave him? For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to, to press here with uh, Rudiger right there. For some reason, I thought it'd be smart to do that when it was not. Osman's free. He scores, and it's 1-1. Now, a draw. Oh, Holland. What was that? Okay, again, I need to be more smart. Smarter. But a draw would not be the worst result if we're being realistic here. As long as we prevent a Leipzig win, I think we won't get grouped. Obviously, we want more than that, though. Holland to Benzema. Benzema. Benzema to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Okay, let's just keep it. Chill. Gumini into Valverde in to Benzema. Beautiful. A little bit of patience shown by me. And look at that. We find a great goal, a great shot, and Benzema scores. All right, lead. Lead is restored. Valverde, great pass to Benzema. Benzema, good finish. I feel like Holland is drifting too wide, so I'm going to tell him to stay central in his positioning instructions. I feel like he's almost, he's going too wide like a winger sometimes. Now, talking about Holland. Oh, Holland's in. Holland, got to score this. That might put Leipzig to bed. It might. I think it will. So Ronaldo, Benzema, Holland all score. Let's just keep our foot on the gas. There's also a Ronaldo assist right there. All right, Akimi, what do we got? What do we got defensive wise? Akimi, strong defending. All right, all of a sudden, Holland's getting in behind. Like it's absolutely nothing. Holland, 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 chip the keeper. Oh, he's going to save it. Man, I should have took that just normally. Vinicius cross in. That's a great cross. Going to go back out to Vinicius. Going to find Valverde shot. Good save by the keeper. This fourth is right here for us. I feel it. Okay, it's not gonna happen there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to pull him out and then go right back in. Vinicius, 
In, two, Benzema. Oh, we're just cutting them apart. That's too easy. They have no idea how to mark Benzema Holland in the box right there. Okay, I think we are saving our Champions League hopes here. Is Ancelotti saving his job? We got managers like Zidane, Thomas Tuchel, all out of a job right now. That could probably do a good job out here at, at Real Madrid. So he's under pressure, but so far this game, he's showing that maybe he is the right man to keep his managerial role here. Holland, that is embarrassing. All right, Holland, I kind of go, I want to go for a long shot, but Vinicius, you got space. Vinicius. Benzema, Benzema. Oh, man, that was smart from Timber. To be fair, Leipzig have made some good signings. Osman, Timber, Alwar. They're like a very solid team, so I shouldn't be surprised they play well against us. This might be a goal. They, oh, man, what a finish by Osman. I need to sign Osman in like a full series because the man is just a beast. I feel like I know I signed Osman in like a reboot video, but I don't think I've signed him in a real series. He is torching me. All right, Endrick, Rodrigo, uh, Kamalo coming on. Four to eight minutes left. This should be simple. Rodrigo, Endrick, these two have quite, quite the chemistry. It's beautiful. Rodrigo shoots. Oh, that's just so easy. The Brazilian connection there is so strong, and those two just made a goal just by themselves. All right, 5-2. We've actually looked decent. Other, other than the two goals they scored, I I very much enjoyed this performance. So we might still have to, uh, to beat Celtic to finish first, but we are going to finish second at the very least in the group. Rodrigo up to Kamalo. The Lionel Messi. Look at a little flip there. That was kind of disgusting. Endrick can't get it to Holland. But 5-2, we avoid disaster and beat Leipzig. But if Fenerbahce won, then we still need to beat Celtic on the final day to finish first. All right, Bilbao next, and that's going to be another 5-2 win. Okay, what is that? Uh, Mendy, Hakimi, Holland, Chumini, and Holland. All right, so we have sold Lucas Vasquez to Spurs for 25.1 million. So he's going to join Cruz over at Spurs. But, I mean, he hasn't played. We haven't needed him. And if anything, we need that cash because we only got 13 million. So that'll put us at like 30-ish for January. Um, now we got Celta Vigo, and that's going to be 2-1 Ronaldo and Rodrigo. Um, I think that rhymed. All right, now we got Celtic, so let's see. Okay, Fenerbahce actually lost to Celtic, so even if we lose and uh, Fenerbahce win, on head-to-head, -head, I think we finish first no matter what, right? Because we beat Fenerbahce 2-1. Ooh, then we lost 2-3. So actually, no, we have to win this. And finishing first and second, it could be a very big difference in our Champions League campaign. The main focus of Season 2, so I think we go we go same lineup. And again, pretty much, this is another must-win game. Because trust me, first can be very important, so I mean, we just beat Leipzig 5-2. We should beat Celtic. Celtic, but the shoulds are never exactly straightforward. Maybe this one will be. Benzema. Benzema. Flip up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo volley. Oh, what a start. What an absolute start. Bro, Ronaldo has been so good in this series. I expect him to be like, you know, a backup striker and then retire after one season. But he's become like a main focal point of this series by sheer goals and performances alone. We also can't ignore Benzema's little trip there was beautiful, but Ronaldo. The volley, 1-0 just like that. I mean, Ancelotti, you are lucky you got Ronaldo. Because that man is literally single-handedly saving your job, maybe. And that's still big, maybe. Even if we make it out of the group first. I don't think Ancelotti is safe because of our league performance. Man, why are Fenerbahce pressing so much? And why are we not being able to keep the ball? Look at this. Look at this pyramid. This triangle passing is nuts. Oh, I left that space. I left this space. Vardial blocks it. It's going to be a corner, though. Swung in. Vardial. Solid clearance. Look at the man's pace. He just, he just beat that man for the ball. Unfortunately, it didn't matter. That's going to be a good ball. I'm going to go for the tackle. Okay. I don't even think if I don't even think we can get to that with Vardio. I think I was going to be going no matter what. How do we let Celtic score? Once this ball got through there, we were screwed. I mean, okay, no, we're not. Because I took Alaba and I did that. Wow, that was bad. That was pretty bad. I thought he was going to shoot. I tried to block it and we actually gave him the space for that. Okay. Can't make an excuse out of that one. Holland to Hakimi. Hakimi. Holland, are you going to be free? Oh, okay. Well, we actually took control of that beautifully. Benzema up to Hakimi into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. All oh, lead is restored in prime CR7. Noodle hair. Ronaldo. Ronnie scores. It's 2-1. I'm telling you, he, he's just so good. I don't even know what I was doing here, but it gets to Ronaldo and it's a low, it's a near post high power shot and it's a goal. We can act like my Alaba mistake never happened now. And also just keep the goals coming. Benzema shot. Okay. Not a bad shot. Karim could be better though. And my defending needs to be uh, a bit more disciplined if I'm being honest. Okay. It wasn't there though. Okay. I'm trying to block down the middle. I'm seeing it. Whoa, look at a little twitchy dribbling, bro. What am I supposed to do against that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel the shot coming, Rudiger. Okay, see? I got a little undisciplined there. I kind of got the way. Then Rudiger makes a good tackle. See? Okay, that's that's better. Holland up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, who is the defender going to go to? Oh, he's going to stay with Benzema. He's going to stay. And Ren Ronaldo, I was going to say, he has hat trick. He does not. I totally thought Ronaldo was going to score that. I stand corrected. Already all into Valverde. Holland over to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, I don't like that shot. Valverde back into Holland. Holland. Oh, whoa, look at that. Whoa, that was a great tackle. Holland's very strong. That guy made a good tackle, but Holland steals it back. 
like the madman he is cross in vinicius i believe you are offside all right i mean two one so far we're winning so it's fine still of course uh could be playing better oh long shot courtois though courtois is probably one of the best keepers i've used this year without a doubt he's just he's just so consistent okay there he kind of stayed in goal when i think he should come out cross is gonna be whipped in akimi gets the clearance out this is dangerous akimi gets a block in the man is a beast he's gonna not steal it but Courtois saves it. Celtic are like uh, Leipzig or Fenerbahce. Honestly, every team in this group has played pretty decent against us. Is that uh, is that them or us now? Because now I'm realizing if every team has played this well against us, maybe it's just us. Maybe we're just bad. Which is why Ancelotti is under pressure. Benzema, whoa, he just got destroyed. All right, Valverde, are you shooting this? Are you shooting this? No, we're getting inside. Ronaldo, I didn't realize it was Ronaldo. I didn't realize it. It's Valverde. Oh, Vinicius into Holland. Oh, Holland, that touch was so heavy. Ronaldo. Vinicius, Vinicius, chips it to Holland, Holland, all oh, volley, shot, not the best though. All right, Alaba is by himself here, not out of choice, and but he's gonna, he's gonna win the ball back. Alaba has just been so good. In a back three, he's so much better than in a back two. I am not sure why Ronaldo, off to Holland, back to Erling Holland. Ronaldo, almost a great pass. Okay, this is a decent chance, this is decent. Okay, see, I step up again. I step up again, and it's almost a very bad decision. Alaba gets it out. Guys, only got five minutes. Game has gone by very quickly. Alaba again with a very important tackle there. That could seal us the win. Holland's through. through. Whoa, Benzema. That is not the pass I expected from you. Okay, if we defend this attack, we win, and we finish first. But, okay, Akimi, what a steal. That's going to be it. Akimi, that is some beautiful defending. And, I mean, it wasn't the most convincing, to be honest. I would have liked us to beat Celtic a lot more easily. But 2-1, we do finish first in the group. Ancelotti, honestly, I don't think he's safe still. He needs to prove a little bit more that he's the right man for the job. And uh, the team just looks like we can play better. Maybe it's the manager. Okay, PSG come in for Labotka for 38.1. Okay, apparently, I didn't even know, but he rejected a move to Newcastle. But he's a player that, now, when he joined, I liked him, but... He never really impressed that much. Where if we can get like 45 for him, I think we could replace him with a better player. 45 million, they want 38. Oh man, we still might do that because I just, I don't think he's that great. So he might be on his way to PSG. We'll see. Might be a bit harsh, but I just feel like he's not really playing at all. Um, Getafe is going to be, Getafe is going to be a 2-1 loss. Benzema scores. How do we lose to Getafe at home? Okay, 2023 Ballon d'Or winner is going to be, it's going to be Benzema. Okay, so back-to-back -back, uh, Ballon d'Or is for Karim Benzema. Benzema. Our our captain wins the bound door again. Hey, I'm cool with that. Now, does he exactly deserve that? I feel like I mean he had like a 27, 27 season, so he probably does. I mean, it's cool to see our own player win the bound door. And the vodka is off to PSG. So that might give us closer, like something like 50, 60 million in January. Um, Real Sociedad is gonna be a 4-2 win. Okay, back to winning ways. Holland Ronaldo, uh, Vardy all in Holland. All right, the board, uh, Florentino Perez. He is giving Carlo Ancelotti one more game. We are facing uh current first place Sevilla. If we win this, we trim their lead down to just one point. Perez is gonna watch this game, and after this game, we're gonna hit January. Before we hit January, though, he's gonna decide if Ancelotti is the right man for this squad going forward. This game right here will heavily influence the decision because we can't go into a transfer window with a manager that his future is in question um let's start Camavinga for valverde let's do that and also let's do Cruz for let's do Cruz for Rudiger. let's do it and we go with that this game could decide whether we hire a new manager or not all right win this and our season first half of the season doesn't look that bad lose and it, it definitely looks bad that is just simply how it is all right holland up to ronaldo ronaldo that first touch right there is so good to get away from the defender now vinicius we got to cross to holland maybe Cross up. Oh, man. They need to be, like, deeper. More far post. So, we got a free kick on um, Ronaldo. I don't know why you're set up like that. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, you're not shooting that, but you are going to shoot this. Ronaldo. 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 Power shot. See, I can't go for power shots. They're always blocked. It hurts me immensely. They're just always blocked. We will score one again soon. Akimi. Oh, man. Akimi. That defending there is just insanely good. Ronaldo. Over to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, what a ball to Vinicius. Vinicius. Finesse shot from Vinicius. Oh, man. What a great shot. Hits the, hits the post, though. Holland, now you. Can you do it? Holland, can you do it? Oh, that's off Felipe's face. All right, we started this game decent. We just didn't find this first goal. Do I uh, really take control of this game? Kimi, up to Holland. Holland, through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo doesn't have the pace to go by himself, but he actually almost stole it there. Oh, no, what a good ball. Okay, uh, Tony Cruz blocks that. That should have been a goal. He should have shot. He was in a great position there. Good ball to Holland. Holland, okay, I didn't want you to back heel that. I wanted you to turn and pass it. Benzema, Ronaldo's on side. Ronaldo's on side. He got Holland, but Holland, I think he's offside. I could have passed it. I thought Holland was going to be just slightly offside, though. Oh, man. I should have passed it. Vinicius. 
Make me not regret my actions. It's gonna go back to the keeper. I regret my actions. All right, that is first half. This has been a very uh, close game. That man Ancelotti over there in the, on the touchline is sweating right now because he's playing for his job or his team is playing for his job. He's like, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, come save me. Okay, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, can you actually save him? Can you actually save him? And it's not a bad effort, but needs uh, more power on it. Holland to CR7, wait for Holland, wait for him. Okay, that, that dude just like some kind of defensive tactic to get Holland to not get that. And he actually worked. Vinicius. Okay, Vinicius. Power shot from Vinicius. Ooh, that one looked good. Corner in. It's going to find someone. Okay, what is that? That's going to be cleared. Tuamini into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Decent touch. Ronaldo. Oh, he can't get the shot away though. Okay, that is a great ball to Rafa Mir. Now he's going to try to find a pass, but Alaba. Alaba, strong positioning there. Feels like one of those games that could go either way. Vardy, okay, that's another strong defensive play right there. Ronaldo, Vinicius. Oh, man, I'm supposed to go to Benzema. I thought he'd run in that space. I'm getting worried. This is a chance. Alaba defending two at once, and then he goes for the tackle. I guess not. Vardy, all, please. Vardy, all. Vardy, all. Vardy, all. Oh, we just got... We just got destroyed. There is nothing more to say about it. We just got absolutely destroyed right here. It felt like we had him, and then he did this move right there. Just that little, like, 360, and then he finds the space, and he scores. Carlo Ancelotti, that goal could be uh, very fatal to your, to your Real Madrid career. Vinicius to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, fine, Vinicius. Vinicius, chance to score, Vinicius. Okay, we... Okay, he just hit the post. That was such an awkward angle, but we should have scored it, though. Hakimi gets the steal. Too many into Ronaldo. What a ball to Holland. Holland, please. Holland. Oh, it's going to be saved. Okay, Rodrigo for Vinicius. And then Ketso Kamalo is on for Akimi. We're going very attacking here. We only got six minutes, though. Corner in by Rodrigo. Benzema. Benzema is not going to get it. CR7 is right here. CR7. In two, Chumini. Hey, it's going to be blocked, though. Man, that could be our final chance because they're coming forward. They got numbers. We got to be aggressive here. But I don't think we're going to have time. I don't think we are. They're going to score anyways. We're going to lose 2-0 to Sevilla at the Bernabeu. Is that the goal that's going to get Carlo Ancelotti? Is that the final straw right there? Man, this game was winnable. We just did not play as good. And Sevilla played that much better. Does this team need just a, a fresh new face to lead them? Honestly, it might. Because now Sevilla has what? Now probably a seven-point lead in first halfway through. If we're playing like this, it's going to bleed over into the Champions League, our main focus, which we don't want that to happen. So confirmation, seven point lead for Sevilla. Man, uh, that might be the final straw. Because Ancelotti lost the confidence of the board. And also the dressing room. There is a decision and it will be revealed in the next episode. Okay, we're about to hit the January transfer window. And Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid board have made a managerial decision here. Carlo Ancelotti has been sacked. He is no longer the manager of this Real Madrid squad. Just after spending money on Holland and Akimi, we've been too inconsistent. The board want change. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a familiar your face very familiar so drop a like if you guys are joining the series hit that sub button down below also if you have not january trans window and also changes are coming all right so into january we go so labotka santos and vasquez all gone and that takes us from about 13 million all the way up to 70 million now we could do some damage with that amount of money but the board was not going to put that into ancelotti's hands he was very good in season one led us to the league title and also the copa del rey but just to take this team further change was needed and it is familiar change because real madrid have hired Zinedine Zidane once again. The man is signing a six-month contract here at Real Madrid. So on contract, he's just here for the rest of this season. He has done it before. He's left Real Madrid, come back, and then led this team to greatness. He's got a different squad this time around, but out of all our options, the board thinks he is the most qualified to handle this job. And uh, we have a new manager, and his first task is to target signings in this January transfer window. Now, the most shocking thing about this is that somehow Zidane has grown his hair back, at least some of it. He has left Pep Guardiola over in uh, Bald Club. He's left them all alone, and he's now here to lead this team to greatness. A mid-season managerial change is a big risk, but we're gonna hope it works out. So, Zidane thinks the 3-5-2 could work with this team under his leadership, but he also wants to try his trusty 4-3-3. It's what he's used uh, previously managing Real Madrid. Now, the weird thing about this is Ronaldo becomes a left winger for the first time in, in probably what? Maybe like four or five years? But Zidane wants to see it. You guys want to see it in the comments too. I see the comments. So, we're gonna try 
try this. It's very similar. It's the same players, but it's more traditional 4-3-3. So we're going to tell Ronaldo to stay forward, cut inside, and get him behind. I mean, like I said, the man hasn't played on the wing in so long. We're going to see if that works and see if the changes Zidane implements are actually going to work. So first game of Zidane's managerial uh, career, I guess, for the third time, right? They just can't stay away from each other. But facing Valladolid at home, Ronaldo left wing, Holland striker, Vinicius right wing, which is a little bit weird, but it's the only way this works. Uh, we'll see how Real Madrid and Zidane do in his uh, first game back again. Now, if this doesn't work, Zidane is open to 3-5-2. He just wants to see the 4-3-3. It's his trusty formation. So Valladolid, a test for them. And La Liga is the main reason why Ancelotti got fired. So let's see if Zidane get a first win in his first game in La Liga. Okay, Ronaldo into Holland already. Already still combining, although they are not playing side to side. He almost just scored too. Vinicius over to Holland. Over the top to Benzema. Ronaldo, it doesn't matter where he is. It doesn't matter where he is. Whoa, Ronaldo, once again, you score these 10 times out of 10. How do you miss that? I mean, at least you created the chance. That's a positive note to take. So in reality, we are playing a 4-3-3, but we're also playing uh, Ronaldo and Holland uh, staying forward up top. So they're almost like two strikers. So it's not insanely different. Oh my, that's just so bad defending. I can't track anything right there. Vinicius over to Holland. Okay, I should have played it to Benzema. That's a little bit overpassing right there. Now back to a back four. I like the back three, but if team plays better, I don't mind. Holland, Holland. Through to Ronaldo, that's not going to quite work. You see the formation, though. I see the style. Ronaldo is not like a... He's definitely like a second striker more than a winger. Good ball. Good ball, but Alaba makes the tackle. Benzema. Oh, what a head to Ronaldo. Beautiful. Ronaldo. Okay, where did Holland go to? Ronaldo. Oh, what a challenge. That should have been a goal right there. Oh, no. Ronaldo's hurt. Ronaldo is hurt. The guy can't get the ball because Ronaldo's hurt. I don't want to see that. Ronaldo is down with an injury. I'm mad. Chumini, good tackle. Okay, Ronaldo's getting up, but he's getting up very slowly. And they have a chance to score, but Rudiger, man, that is a very hard tackle. Valverde, great ball to Holland. Holland, oh, that touch is beautiful. Holland finesse shot. Oh, again, it's the post. That's two times he hit the post. What do we got to do to score? That's a good tackle. I think Ronaldo is still hurt, too, by the way. All right, first half. I hope Ronaldo is okay. I feel like he's not, but we're playing decent. Just no goal to show for it yet. Okay, Ronaldo is still hurt. I'm going to see if he runs it off, though. I'm just going to see. I am very worried, though. Player at his age. Injuries are very... Whoa, what is that? Okay, that just allowed the space. What is happening? They actually scored off that. They ran into each other, and the guy with the ball just said, okay, thanks, and he just ran through Kennedy, and he scores. Oh, my. I can't believe that. That is so clumsy. Is that on Zidane? Is that Ancelotti? Who is that? I'm not sure. That might be just our players. Ronaldo, he's still hurt. We got to take him off, I think. He is still hurt, although he has a chance to score. Ronaldo, chance to score. Even though he's injured, the man is in pain, and he almost just scored. Vinicius, two. Benzema. Benzema shot. Oh, man. We got to score these chances. Vinicius, two. Valverde. Oh, Holland. Good turn. Through to, oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's got to be a 10. Oh, that's just a beautiful move right there. Valverde scores, but that whole move, that passing was scrumptious. I am incredibly sad, though, because Ronaldo, man, we got to take him off. I hope he's not hurt bad. Uh, Nico Williams is back from his injury, so why not get his return to the team here? Left wing. Ronaldo, I hope and pray that you're okay. Now, we have a traditional left winger, though. We'll see how this uh, works out. We should be beating this team by a lot more. Let's we'll see if we can actually do it. I mean, Zidane is here to infuse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right, Mendy. Oh, man, that's a good ball. That's a good ball. Rudiger, that is a goal-saving, like, block, that is. We don't look that different under Zidane, to be honest. We don't look that different. Although, Benzema through to Holland. That could change very quickly because Holland, look how quick he is. It's nuts, Holland. You're scoring that. There's no way you're not. Man, okay, things could change pretty fast. We got Erling Holland on a breakaway. All of a sudden, 2-1. If Ronaldo is hurt, Holland has got to take over right now. Simple goal, but also 2-1 scoreline now. Nico Williams to Benzema. Benzema. Flip it to Erling. Erling, again, another one-on-one. -on -one. I was just trying to control the ball. I should have took it sooner. I thought if he shot that, whoa, what a bad pass. Too many. Too many. Gets it to Holland. Holland. Oh, that's not Holland. That's actually Benzema. Then Vinicius misses. But, okay, what is happening here? I am so confused on what I'm seeing. Benzema. Do Valverde. Valverde. Awkward angle. Still a good shot, though. Game is still only 2-1. They could score here and make this an absolute game. He's on side. They are going to tie this game at 2-2. Bro, both of their goals have been just highly questionable in a lot of ways. Like, oh, it just bounces right back to him. How unfortunate is that? We got six minutes and now score another goal. Vinicius, Holland, Benzema. Now Benzema got to find Holland again. Benzema, Benzema. Oh, he finds Holland. What a pass. He can't take it down and shoot quick enough, though. Again, he takes too much time to shoot. Holland, Benzema, two. 
Nico Williams back from his injury. Nico Williams shoots. Oh, and Nico Williams has scored the winner. He's been out for three months. That broken toe is healed because he just scored the winner in this game. Okay, Zidane's first game is not going to be a huge disappointment. Still shakiness, but we're going to win at least. Oh, man, Nico Williams, what a big goal for his return. Like, that's a that's a very good strike from that spot. Beautiful. Welcome back, and also welcome Zidane. Also back to Real Madrid, and that's going to be a 3-2 win. Now, I just hope Ronaldo is not out for long, but the Zidane era for, I believe, believe the third time right the third time it has begun with a win and he is obviously very happy with uh, that hair kind of back okay it seems like Ronaldo is actually uh he is not hurt so I guess after the game it showed that Mr. Noodle Man is okay so we avoid a disaster injury so that makes that solid win you know Zidane's first game it's a win now can we build on that okay Luka Modric is contract expiring and the man is currently what he's going down overall very quickly he's 38 years old and he's been approached by Ajax I don't think we're gonna resign him I think I'm gonna let him go to Ajax for a potential season three if we do that so he's with us for the rest of the season but next season he will not be now 70 million Zidane doesn't have that much money but he does have one target who he wants to sign Zidane's first target is Enzo Fernandez from Benfica I mean World Cup winner insanely well-rounded stats he might be like a Luka Modric replacement right now maybe a, a signing to replace him next season the issue is this is cutting it very close to what we can actually afford oh man what if we just swapped him with Luka Modric right now would that be bad if we did that because I mean Luka he hasn't played that great this season he's definitely dropping pretty quickly we'll try money first but if it doesn't work I might add Luka Modric to the deal. Uh, let's try 65 million euros. Man, we wouldn't have enough for the budget, I don't think, or the wage. Um, we're gonna have Marvin into the deal to make it sweeter, but not that much sweeter. Um, let's start 63 million. Let's see what they say to that. They're probably gonna want a lot more, but let's see what Benfica say to that. They are going to want 48 million plus Benzema. That is not happening. We might have to include Luka Modric. 58, let's say 58 plus uh, maybe like 36.5 that'd be close to i think what they want let's see if they accept that they are going to they're going to accept that oh man do we just do we get actually value out of modric and just do that now because i mean enzo is a great player and i feel like by the end of the season uh enzo might be a higher rating than modric i mean modric is gonna be an 83 in uh in maybe um like a month and a half at least actually at most oh man i love luka modric but i think we might do this i think uh zidane is trying to switch things up in this team so enzo fernandez i mean maybe it's uh modric wants to leave maybe he wants to go to ajax a team that's uh, a league that's more you know it's not a league it's not the prem it is controversial but i think we're doing it i feel like modric is gonna retire maybe this season anyways this what we get we get some value out of modric and i feel like enzo he would help us this season more than modric so enzo fernandez is signed up the first signing of zidane's reign here at Madrid his set is actually third reign I keep forgetting because he's he's been manager so many times but Enzo Fernandez just won the World Cup with Argentina now he gets his big money move to Real Madrid I think that's gonna be a solid solid pickup I am so sad about Luka Modric but it's just something that needed to happen unfortunately so Enzo will get number number 14 and also his debut here pretty shortly so we got Letico Madrid in the Supercopa but honestly I'm not worried about the Supercopa this season at all uh 4-3-3 against Letico Madrid Zidane game number two is gonna be a 3-1 win Ronaldo scores twice a brace from left wing uh very interesting okay since now we have a chance for a trophy the super cup of final we got it we got to play it it's a good chance for enzo fernandez to get his debut so he is in for uh in for valverde let's start endrick for vinicius let's do uh nico williams let's get uh kamala on the bench and we'll go with that so enzo endrick in there nico williams and also a chance to win of course a trophy so literally what game number three is a chance for Zidane to win a minor trophy? It's not bad. Come on, we need to see some like convincing performances again. Where are they at? Zidane is supposed to inject energy into this team. We need to see it. He's gone with the youth in this game. We'll see if it pans out. Endrick, around two. Endrick, from distance, power shot. It's just gonna be blocked. They don't let me take power shots. I wish they did. I would, I would bribe them. Okay, Courtois has that. What a bad cross. Now instead, they're in. And whoa, Rudiger. I love that challenge. Enzo to Holland. Enzo is continuing his run all the way out okay too far for Hendrick though Holland get your get your head in the game okay they are coming here pretty quick Mayotica now if I remember right we faced Mayotica in the uh in the Copa del Rey final that's probably why we're facing him here oh man if they scored that I would have left the game I would have exited the stadium oh man shot Courtois forced to make a solid save oh man oh man oh man we can't let this happen please come on steal the ball please Get back in position. It's my fault. I blame myself. Endrick can't make a good tackle there. Enzo Fernandez can't get the block in. Courtois saves it though. Hey, Mallorca, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? All right, Enzo Fernandez, what do you got? We just gave up Luka Modric for you. You better be good. Enzo, Enzo, Enzo. Okay, that was a tough one. Oh man, they're gonna score. Nope. Courtois makes a save. Mallorca have been the better team here. Like, what's happening? The Don is about to lose all his hair again because he's gonna get very mad. Oh, what a good move. What a good move. Courtois though is saving us right now. Oh man, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Don't let them score. 
Okay, I thought I blocked that. Per but Courtois, another great save. He is in Champions League final form. Nico Williams, good clearance. Still not over though. Alaba, good tackle. And Hendrick, we do finally get this ball out. Okay, second half begins. The game is still no, no. I, I would say Mallorca have been the better team. That is very troubling right now. Enzo, up to Holland. Holland, get it back to Benzema. Benzema, Enzo has got space to shoot. Oh, Enzo Fernandez. That had some, uh, a little bit of flair to it. Oh man, great ball. Alaba is tracking. Okay, please. Hakimi, I need you. All oh, goes back. They're going to score. Nope. As well as finally guarding his near post. Williams, get the ball out. Too many clearance. Get the ball out again. Okay, that's three really good clearances. People are just putting their bodies on the line. Now, too many, too many. Oh, that's timed to absolute perfection. Holland, that first touch lets you down so bad. That should be a goal. How is his first touch that bad? Benzema, he's, he's going to be offside. There's no reality in which that should be acceptable to not score that. Guess out of Benzema. Benzema finesse shot. Keeper saves it. So Enzo, this man is a workhorse. He does a lot like, he's gonna like Valverde. Man is just everywhere in the field. Nico. Okay, Holland. Okay, Holland, you gotta score this. You're quicker than him. You're quicker. And finally, that's so easy. See, if he slows down, he's under control. Holland is so good. But a few times his touches have been a bit heavy. It's an ugly one-on-one -on -one goal. Just pure speed. And it's also 1-0 though. Game has got 20 minutes. We finally make the breakthrough. Still, I don't think we've been the better team. That's the sad part. But it won't matter if we get a win. Nico Williams up to Holland. Get it to Benzema. Benzema to Enzo. Enzo. Oh, we got to get that to Holland. That was such a clean move. Hendrick to Akimi. Akimi. I mean, that's an ambitious ball. Holland's not going to get that. He actually put a lot of pressure though. Jumini into Enzo Fernandez. Enzo right foot. I want him to score on his debut. He sets up so well. The shots don't look that bad. Whoa, that's a bad throw out by the keeper. Nico Williams. Oh, that chest touch was abominable. Is that even a word? Did I just make up a word? I feel like I did. They got one minute and they got one attack. Vardy all good defending though. That might, be, that might be enough, although it's still kind of embarrassing. We got an Avengers team. This should be more simple than that. Okay, Holland. How did that work out? Whoa, that burst of speed. There it is. Okay, right there is what I need to see from Holland. I didn't even do any of that. That was all Erling Holland. I take no credit for what was just happened on screen. 2 0, and we win the Supercopa, although still, it's it's not as straightforward as it should be. All right, subs on. Let's lift this little minor trophy. That is full time. 2 0. Enzo Fernandez, first game for Real Madrid. He wins a trophy. Not bad. All right, Karim Benzema is in the lift. The first trophy of the season, right? I hope it's not the, not the only one, but things are looking shaky. Zidane. He hasn't quite got his uh, his message across yet. Hasn't fully implemented his tactics enough. There's a lot of potential, though. There's potential. Okay, next game is going to be Asasuna. So each game, we are in danger of falling further out of first. Seven points currently. We just got to catch Sevilla. I don't trust the Sim enough. So we're going to play this. One final test for the 4-3-3 Ronaldo at left wing. Full strength. I want to see like a, a convincing performance here. I mean, if Ronaldo, if he can't play left wing, then we got to switch back to 3-5-2. Zidane doesn't want to do it, though. So he wants this to work. Let's see it actually work for real. Ronaldo to Benzema. Benzema lift it to Erling. Erling go for the volley. Oh, what a finish by Erling Holland. Okay. I mean, there's not much better technique you can get than that goal right there. That was just dirty. What a start to the game. Benzema lifts it and then Holland waits for it. And then, oh, it's like a leaning side foot into the corner. Beautiful shot. Okay. Good start to this game. We're about to take our anger out on Asasuna. I'm sorry, Asasuna. I am deeply sorry. Holland, Holland. Oh, could get it to Ronaldo. Whoa, he just got shoved. Still wins it, though. I like the energy. Valverde, too. Vinicius, Vinicius. To Benzema, Benzema. Gets to Ronaldo. That's 2 0. We are taking our anger out on Asasuna. And also a little bit, a little bit of Sui. That is Ronaldo. Left winger. Scoring. Zidane is happy and almost bald. Oh, man. There's some space here. Alba, please. They're going to track it back. Good defense needs to be. It needs to be disciplined, but Courtois is just too good. They should have scored that. And do we need to address the defense? I feel like Rudiger and Alaba are very good, just for some reason, together. Are they not good enough for what we want to do? Okay, Courtois, again, is amazing. Like, should Vardy all be starting? Should we sign a whole new center back? Should we sell one of them? We're still in the transfer window. I'm not sure. I just feel like the defense is a really big concern right now. And that is a good ball in. That's going to be a good tackle by Rudiger, though. See, they're good. It's just they're very inconsistent. Hey, Vinicius. The Holland, Holland. Playing Vinicius. Hasn't scored in a minute, but right wing, I feel like he could be dangerous. And the speed there is dangerous. 3-0. I wanted a performance like this, and so far, it's been like this. This meaning convincing. Ronaldo. Benzema through to Holland. Oh, man. We are cutting them apart. Holland. Holland. Take your time. Take your time. It's 4-0. 30 minutes. Four goals. Holland brace. I don't know how many assists Benzema has. I feel like it's maybe three. I mean, you ask, you shall receive. Vinicius gives it to Holland. We got Akimi. Akimi. 
Oh, that first touch was so good, Akimi. Play to Benzema. Benzema, this should be five. Benzema hits the crossbar. I might cry. That would have been such a clean attack and finish. Good ball defense still. Defense still. Alaba. Alaba, finally a good slide tackle. That was really good. All in to Vinicius. Vinicius. Oh, what a ball to Erling. Erling. We get it to Ronaldo. What a ball to Ronaldo. Oh, that's disgusting attacking. That is just beautiful. Okay, Zidane is showing something in this game. His managerial tacticalness is showing, and we're playing some beautiful football. 5 0 first half against Osasuna. And it might get worse than this for them. Ronaldo, Benzema, Holland, Holland. Decent first touch. Work this thing around, though. Vinicius up to Ronaldo. Oh, gives it to Holland. Oh, I tried. I should have just shot. I, I was passing too much. I thought Benzema was making a good run for it to happen, but you can see the attacking is working. Not at left wing is doing the job right now. Also, Vinicius on the wing is doing good too. Vinicius into Ronaldo. Ronaldo in front of goal. Okay, it's 6-0. Ronaldo, that completes his hat trick too, by the way. Is this going to be Zidane's defining game in his early start of his Real Madrid third reign? Because this is this is quite good. Carlo Ancelotti is at home punching the air right now. Oh, I'm punching the air. Oh, I'm punching the air. Courtois saves me. How many times have I said that? He just saves me constantly. Benzema to Vinicius. Vinicius. Man, that passing is very lazy, boys. That is some lazy passing. All right, Alaba, Alaba, Alaba. Oh, man, that was perfectly timed. That was unfortunate. And thankfully, he's offside, though. All right, let's get some more Enzo Fernandez. His debut episode, why not? Played decent against uh, uh, Mallorca. Let's see what he does in this game. Ronaldo into Holland. Ronaldo, he got his hat trick. Does Holland get his, maybe? Nope, because he just got outpaced there. Oh, Benzema's got crunched. That's going to be a red. Get him off the field. Insult to injury, literally. Enzo to Benzema. In to Holland. Up to Benzema. Through to Enzo Fernandez. What is happening here? Man, Enzo, that was a weird run. Steals it, though. Enzo Fernandez. Look at the engine on him. You would think his name is Federico Valverde. Um, that shot was pretty bad. Benzema to Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo, that first touch was so bad. That was like a Holland touch right there. Come on, I want the clean sheet. Clean sheet. Oh, Courtois is showing out today. All right, Benzema is rinsed, so let's play uh, Rodrigo at cam. Uh, let's do Endrick on the right, and I think we will... Let's do also Cruz at center back. Come on, clean sheet, boys. We need the clean sheet for the full performance, and we steal it. Rodrigo and Endrick, we know they are on the same wavelength. Endrick. Gets it over to Ronaldo. Holland to complete his hat trick. We got double hat tricks for, I believe, Holland and Ronaldo. 7-0. I mean, Zidane is showing. There's no fans here. Zidane is showing why he replaced Carlo Ancelotti. After a few games of 4-3-3, all of a sudden it's showing. The players have clicked. 7-0. We beat Asasuna. Okay, you guys let me know what formation we should use. The 4-3-3 or the 3-5-2. Now, Zidane would prefer the 4-3-3. But you guys let me know what you think. Because next episode, we're in the Champions League run of 16. And the team we're facing, we're not going to reveal it yet. It'll be revealed in the next episode. But the team we're facing can actually win the Champions League. They've been close in a recent number of years. I'm talking about in the final. So round of 16 is going to be immediately from the start hectic. We're going to be fighting for our lives. But I think Zidane can really take this team forward. I mean, he's got it on his resume. He's done it before. Okay, we have found youth players like Ketso Kamalo. And also players like Tony Cruz, the next Sergio Ramos. But I feel like unless I'm wrong, I don't think we've ever found a goalkeeper youth player. Well, that changes today. Also, Zidane is done. I think he's finally got his message across with this team. Because last game was a 7-0 win. He's got the players playing his style, but is that going to be enough for us to win the Champions League, though? Which, round of 16, in this episode, and the team we're facing, there's history, there's drama. It is, it's going to be something. So, drop a like if you guys are enjoying the series, of course. We are trying to reach 200,000 subs, so also hit that sub button down below if you have not. If you're planning to do a season 3, can you make CR7 as the next manager? By making him retire at the end of the season. I like that idea. I think out of Messi Ronaldo, I think Ronaldo is more likely to be a manager. Like, I can see it happening. But right now, as you can see, he's playing so well. He's got 20 goals and then 16 assist that is nuts so i'm not sure he's gonna be looking to retire anytime soon so we'll have to wait and see how this season finishes i think can we have the credit club series next yeah so our credit club series is gonna be either the next series or the one after that i'm not sure which and i am thinking i want to do kensington again that was such a good series uh last year i think with uh few 22 we started in do we start in league two or league one i think it was league one whenever we start that new credit club series we'll probably do a bunch of votes like for which league we start in the budget all that stuff so it's, it might not be the next series if not the next series it'll be the next after that one and last one give andrew and tony cruz more game time because they have a lot of potential. Yeah, and a lot of you guys want to see Endrick play as a striker, so we might try that again in this episode in that 4-3-3. And also give a chance to the next Sergio Ramos to get some more red cards. I don't think he's got a one yet. Like, not much of a Sergio Ramos regen. Okay, first game is going to be against uh, Cadiz. Now, we're going to reveal that youth player in a second here. But first, Benzema is rinsed. So let's play Rodrigo there. Holland's kind of tired. Let's play Endrick at striker. Why not in the same game? Now, I want to see some wins because uh, we're kind of falling out of the title race. So game number uno is going to be a 1-1 draw. Endrick scored at striker, but it's going to be more drop points. Okay, our next 
next game is in the Copa del Rey, I believe. Yes, Copa del Rey. But like I said, I can't remember ever, ever finding a Youth Academy goalkeeper. That changes right now. We have found a Spanish youth keeper named Yerai Montoya. Now, his value is 1.4 million, and he's got a height of 6'7". He's 6'7 at 17 years old. What is he eating? So, introducing Yerai Montoya. Now, him saying there, he actually does not look 6'7", but I bet in game, he will look that tall. So, he's only 63 rated. I kind of wanted more than that. Like, we sent our scout to Spain specifically for a keeper. And, I mean, his stats look decent, but 17 years old, he's got decent potential. And then that 6'7 height, he could be a very, very good goalkeeper. Now, we already have Courtois, but the backup spot is not really not really locked in place. Maybe Montoya can actually win that spot be a backup keeper to Courtois. So, Montoya is promoted. He's an exciting prospect, so that means he does have some decent potential there. And I think Copa del Rey next game, it might be a good game for his debut. Give Courtois rest and see how good Montoya is. Now, I get all the questions about youth players and real faces and stuff, so what I do basically real quick, I look at the youth player like uh, EA face right there, and then I try to find a face in the game that looks closely like it. And then we use the Cheat Engine to just change the face ID. That is that is all you do. I mean, he's definitely going to stand out in the Spain uh, national team squad, I would say that. But he's going to get his debut, and he might can see, we might can see like seven goals, and then we fire him, we we release him. Or he could be great, because he's 6'7". We're going to find out. So let's get new signing Enzo Fernandez in there. Hendrick, uh, let's do Hendrick as striker again. Let's try it. Actually in a played game. And then Rodrigo right wing, I want to start Ronaldo in this game. And we'll go with that. So Montoya gets his uh, his Real Madrid debut. Now, being only a 63 rated, is this a mistake? Also, I asked you guys uh, what formation you think we should use in the last episode. A lot of you guys said 4-3-3. I think after that 7-0 win, it's hard to not use that again. So 4-3-3. We'll see if it continues to be good. Ronaldo on the left wing. It's a little bit weird in his older age, but I mean, he's still scoring. He's still playing great. So it might actually work. Like I said, round of 16 is probably going to be maybe the next game after this. And that's going to be the biggest test of this series to date. That is how good the team we're facing is. Okay, Benzema. Benzema just got taken out. Whoa, everyone relax. Okay, Benzema, they might have just broke his leg. He's on the floor and he's in pain. Now, he cannot get hurt right before a champion's round of 16. That'd be terrible. Mendy. Oh, what about Endrick? Endrick is in. Endrick at striker. And he's not going to score. That was a good move, though. All right, Benzema, I believe that you can walk it off. So, walk it off. Corner sent in. It's going to be. Was that Vardy? I think it was. Oh, it's Endrick. Volley attempt. It's going to be another corner, I think. See if we can do this. That is Vardy all once again. The header is absolutely pathetic, though. I'm shooting this too many. Nope, never mind. Ronaldo, maybe you're shooting this. If we can get it back to him. Oh, what a good, what a good give and go. Oh, wait, wait. How did that go in? That was such an awkward looking shot. Ronaldo still scores, though, and it's his goal, I think. So it's just a left footed shot, and it's like the most awkward placement not deflected i guess it's an inch perfect shot by ronaldo okay it had like such a weird trajectory where i thought it was like deflected but no ronaldo is just a beast it is prime noodle ronaldo do we think montoya is gonna be clean cheat in his first game do we think that benzema is still hurt i don't like to see that he came in oh benzema benzema oh we gotta take him off he's not playing great he's he's in pain okay Ketzo kamal on and we're gonna put rodrigo at cam go so the south african Lionel messi comes on the field if benzema's hurt bad that could derail our season just like that this is uh this is not good i defense montoya Montoya. Montoya makes the save. You know, a Spanish keeper, Real Madrid. He doesn't look like him, but I'm thinking the next Iker Casillas. I mean, he was such a legendary keeper for Real Madrid. Casillas, Montoya could be the next one. If he makes more saves like that, I think he might be. Oh, that's a shot. Oh, Montoya. He's looking like prime Casillas right now. Look at him. 63 rated, making two great saves. And I made a bad pass. Montoya, please. Montoya, I believe in you. Whoa. Was that a penalty? I felt like that could have been a penalty, but I guess not. Ronaldo gives it to Hendrick. Hendrick. Rodrigo. Into Ronaldo. 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 He already has one. Finesse shot. Oh, Ronaldo has two. This is prime noodle. Ronaldo, captain's armband. And he is just playing so good in this series. How can he retire, become the manager when he's playing this good? It's so funny. It was not planned for him to be like the, the main focal point of the series, but he has made it that way. This Ronaldo and Real Madrid are two things that go very well together. Look at this finesse shot. That's just all oh, it's inch perfect. Keeper like didn't really like dive though. Ronaldo's not gonna mind. 2-0. Montoya makes two great saves and we score. It's just this has been a good game so far. Good ball Montoya. Might have more work to do. He's gonna track it back. No, he's not. Yes, he is. A little bit late there. Oh, too many. What a steal. Too many. Oh, makes tackle. That's gonna be offside. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. What is his distribution though? Montoya. You're 6'7". You should have some strength. Montoya. That wasn't a bad kick. But 2-0, this has gone pretty good so far. I'm worried about Benzema, though. And I'm also going to take Ronaldo off pretty soon because I don't want him getting hurt either. All right, Enzo Fernandez. Good ball to Kamalo. 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 Oh, I tried to get it to Endrick. Rodrigo into Ronaldo. Ronaldo gives it to Endrick. Endrick chance to shoot. Endrick. That shot was so bad. We're going to call that one a miss hit. You guys might notice my background looks a little bit different. This is my new office. Now, it's very boring as of now, but it will be changed. Over time, it will be a little bit more interesting. Just a little bit. Endy to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Okay, chance for a hat trick. Ronaldo from distance. Okay, get off the field. That is your final kick of the game. All right, Nico Williams on and also uh, Kimavinga on for Chumini. Rodrigo 
into Ketso Kamalo. The man is an absolute beast. He's had such a good start to his career. Endrick. Okay, that dribbling was so much better by Endrick, and he scores. That was beautiful. Just youth players everywhere combining, pretty much. Kamalo, driving run. Endrick, that little, oh, that little dribble there. It was beautiful. Low different shot, 3-0. Renata, don't know what hit him. Montoya, Montoya, Montoya. Oh, Montoya. What a save from a 63-rated keeper. No, I gotta see that again. I gotta see it again. You can't be serious. Montoya, the next Iker Casillas. You see it. Oh, that's 6'7". The size of him. What an, what an amazing save for a keeper that low rated. The next Iker Casillas, he looks like he's something special. Corner in. Header attempt. Montoya grabs it with the confidence. Courtois is looking a, bit, a little bit nervous on the sideline right now. Oh, Kimi just destroyed that man. Now Rodrigo. Whoa, what a ball. That, has, that almost actually worked to Williams. Okay, why did the keeper, uh, why didn't he just grab it? Montoya. Montoya. Oh, okay, he couldn't save that one. Unfortunate. He's played so good. He deserved a clean sheet, but I think our defending just wasn't great. We left him out to dry there. Like Rudiger's all over there, so pass in. I mean, he can't do much with that one. That was the defense. Look how tall he is, though. Bro, that, that he's six seven. He's playing basketball, not not football. Nico Williams, Rodrigo. Okay, Nico Williams, Rodrigo. You are not on the same page there. Oh no. Oh, Rudiger. Rudiger showing some speed there. Now Montoya, kick it forward. The precision of that pass is is quite good. I'd give it a B plus. Is he gonna have to make one more save? Maybe long shot. Montoya makes the save. That is now four saves, right? Four saves in your Remager debut. I mean, he'll take that. Corner flipped in. It's gonna be cleared. Now the keeper is out, but I don't think we have a chance to even get it forward. No, he won't. This should be game. Should be game. That's a block, and the ball gets out. So another game with a 4-3-3. It looks pretty good. We got we can see that one goal, but Ronaldo's playing great. Montoya, the next Iker Casillas, looked great too. I am happy with how things are going. But our next game is going to be quite possibly the, the toughest game of this series so far. Green Benzema has suffered a only a bruised shoulder and he's back in five days. So we avoid disaster there. He's going to be back with a round of 16. All right. Rabatis, Copa del Rey again. Vinicius scores twice and we advance, I think, to now maybe the quarters or the semis. I'm um, now Almeria and that's a four through Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Rudiger, and uh, Ronaldo hat trick. We barely get by Almeria in extra time though. So transfer to Vende, I think. How much money do we got? We got 41 million, but I think Enzo Fernandez is going to be only signing in January. I don't think we need anyone else. I like the way the team is looking right now. So we go with this squad moving forward. Zidane leads this team. We're basically the Avengers. I mean, it's a team that can win the champions. Like, it's just a question of actually whether we do it or not. But transfer window is going to be closed. Okay, next is Espanol. And that's going to be 3 0. Hakimi, Ronaldo, and Ronaldo again. All right, now, Copa del Rey semi is against Real Sociedad. Uh, Montoya is in there at keeper. This one is going to be 2 1. Hakimi and Holland. So Montoya starts. He gets a 7.3 rating. So that's pretty good. But I think that's only the first leg, right? I believe it's two legs. All right, two more. Viacano is going to be 2-1 Vinicius and Holland. And then Elche is going to be 2-1 Ronaldo and Holland again. Okay, so we're four points behind Sevilla. We played an extra game though. But we're still like seven points behind them. But now the biggest game of this season by far. Round of 16 Champions League, we have been drawn Manchester City. Now, if Zidane didn't grow his hair back, this would be the bald derby. Pep Guardiola versus Zinedine Zidane. Holland facing his former team, the storylines, the drama, and also where we could get knocked out right here. Now, the good thing is that everyone's fully fit. So we're good on that. That's super field our strongest team. They got a front three of Foden, Julian Alvarez, and Mares. I mean, it's a very strong team. Right back, a little bit weak, but it is, it is Manchester City, the ball derby. This could be the Champions League final, and we're only in the round of 16. Our main focus this year, the Champions League, it's going to start, and it's going to be very tough from the beginning. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be tough because it's Man City, but hey, our team is so good. Like, we got Holland, they don't. Maybe we just bulldoze them. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. These games are always so hard to, like, try to break what happens, so. Man City versus Real Madrid. Why are we wearing the blue kits? They're blue. Blue. Thankfully, it doesn't uh, clash too much. Vinicius to Benzema. A healthy Benzema shot. Oh, man. Decent shot to start the game. Holland. He knows Pep. He knows this stadium. He's going through all kinds of emotions right now. Alaba, great steal. Vinicius into Holland. Holland to Benzema. Benzema. Find Ronaldo. Ronaldo into Holland. I should have just shot with Ronaldo. I was trying to be too unselfish. Tackle him. Valverde, that was like a pass to Foden. Oh, I tried to be unselfish, Ronaldo, and we paid the price for it. That should have been a goal right there. De Bruyne, cross in, Chumini. Good clearance. Hey, we got numbers here a little bit. We got Vinicius, who's probably the fastest player out of the front three. And Valverde might find him. Valverde. Oh, man, it's good defending. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vinicius. He almost just stole that. He's going to turn. Cross it in. It goes off Ruben Diaz's arm, I think. Swing it. Swing it. Swing it. Ronaldo. Oh, man, I should just shoot again. Ronaldo is so free there. What a hectic start. Foden. Foden, stop. Please stop Foden. He's probably the main man in this team now. The main man, that's a shot. Alaba, great block. Right now, gonna find Philip Foden. Ronaldo on Foden. I'm not sure I like that. 
Oh man, Rudiger, what a tackle. What did Bowden just do? I don't know how Rudiger even got that. Vinicius, make a run. Drag the defenders. Benzema, Benzema, Vinicius on side. Oh, Vinicius was going to be on side, but it's going to it's gonna be a good block. This game is going a million miles per hour right now. Bowden, Bowden, all in for the tackle. They just hit the crossbar, I believe. Man City getting so close to scoring. They might. De Bruyne, Chumini, Chumini, great steal. Oh man, they're pressuring us a little bit. We can't deal with it right now. Okay, we break out of it. Now, Akimi is on his moped. Akimi. Into Holland, please. That took so long. Holland into Vinicius. Vinicius. Oh, that touch was a little bit heavy, but Vinicius scores. We just worked through their press like they weren't even there. And that is 1 0 to Real Madrid. I mean, that was perfect. That was actually Benzema, not Holland, with the assist, too, by the way. All right, they hit the crossbar. Then we go down the field and score, and it's 1 0. That is how close this could be to being something different. Yeah, their press is just insane. I'm like scared to even hold the ball with my center backs right now. But 1 0, if we could win this 3 0, maybe like 3 1, I would totally take that. Foden, Foden, Rudiger is having a solid game at center back. That was a good interception right there, too. Now, Benzema. Oh, that was supposed to be Ronaldo, not Holland. All right, we break their press, and we got a lot of space here. Okay, Mendy. What am I seeing? The last two passes have been terrible right there. First Benzema, then Mendy. Okay, Chumini. He's just a bit too strong, but we are rushing the passes out right now. And when you do that, you're likely to get punished for it. Okay, we got to be more patient than that. Holland to Vinicius. Now the, now the flip side of that. Is there wide open if we can break out of it? Holland, flip it up to CR7. CR7. Oh, he was not set up well for that at all. Chumini, Benzema, Benzema into Erling Holland against his former team and Holland is gonna score you know I feel like he's got a lot of uh feelings positive feelings for Man City so he's not gonna celebrate but it is 2-0 we have we've been pretty strong here haven't looked our best but we've looked pretty good Benzema another assist this time too all right 2-0 I feel like we are gaining control of this game slowly as it goes on oh Akimi on Foden what a steal up to Holland do it through to Benzema Benzema Ronaldo still on side oh man it needs to be on the right of the defender there Hakimi Hakimi oh what a tackle Hakimi is just such a beast we are literally the Avengers all these superstars all this talent it's not even funny that was a good shot though all right subs on Endrick and Kemavinga are on corner in and awkward but that should be cleared and that was actually a good pass to Benzema now we just got a we got a foot race no Vinicius no Endrick actually why did he stop running oh Chumini great steal oh gets it to Benzema we got numbers here if we can run Benzema please Benzema Find Ronaldo. He's gonna find him. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. All oh, the strength, but then Ruben Diaz, his Portuguese teammate, makes a very good recovery. Man, I want this third goal. A third goal would almost put us in such a good spot. I mean, two is a good spot, but three nil is that much better. What a steal, Endrick. Through to Benzema. 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 You might go all the way, Benzema. Oh, cuts inside. Benzema. Benzema. Shot. Oh, that's gonna be three nil. Zinedine Zidane wins the bald derby. And I would say uh, actually pretty comfortably. Benzema is like patience here. Took that so well to the right and then finds the space to shoot and it's into the back of the net. We got four minutes left. Three nil would be such a good scoreline to take into the second leg. Oh, Man City. They start off good, but okay, I'm gonna stop talking actually. I'm gonna stop talking. Mendy. Gets it to Kabore. I feel like Man City always play Kabore at right back. Do they not have someone better? I actually don't even know what Kabore's rating is. Am I being disrespectful? Is he high rated? I don't know. But come in, I get that. That's going to be the end of the game. All right, 3-0. That is such a strong first leg, especially away from home. The ball derby first leg, we just played amazing against Man City. All right, that was a pretty big game. We played pretty well. But the next one is also another big game. We got Sevilla. So they are uh, seven points above us in first. If we lose this, that could be the title race over this early. And unfortunately, someone woke up. Up with like a stomach bug. Kurtzwall has fallen ill sick this morning, the day of the game, and he's unable to play. So that means Yedai Montoya is gonna have to start this game for us. 17 years old, he's played only one game, and he's gonna play in a game that could decide La Liga. Let's see how the next Iker Casillas can do. Literally, if we lose this, I think we won't be able to catch Sevilla. If we win though, it'll go down to four points. That's much more uh, manageable for us. So this is just a huge game for the, for the league title race. Okay, Benzema just got taken out again. And Benzema's hurt again. Bro, Benzema is getting targeted here. He literally might be injured again. But Ronaldo, you know what? I think you're shooting this. Now, I'm going to try to do like some kind of knuckleball here. Although I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Ronaldo, we're shooting this. What do you got? Ronaldo, Mr. CR7 from the free kick spot. I am immediately embarrassed. I'm not sure what that was, but Holland... Oh, oh, he scored from it. Never mind. Not embarrassed. That was the plan from the beginning. Okay, obviously not. Oh, he scored from it, so I'll take it. I mean, it was very fortunate that we found Holland. And Holland, it's a great finish to the left-hand side of the keeper. 1-0 to Real Madrid. Benzema's hurt, though. Benzema's gotten injured twice. Went up, so jeez. He can not run off last time. We'll see if he can this time, Benzema. Oh, he goes down again. He's just getting hurt left to right. Someone call an ambulance for Benzema. The man is in an immense amount of pain. Montoya, Montoya. Montoya makes a good save. All in to Ronaldo. I can't believe Ronaldo has 16 assists this season. Give me another one. Actually, Benzema. Benzema, he's going to shoot this. Benzema, he's injured. 
still scores though whatever he's got injured he doesn't need because that is 2-0 and ronaldo another assist too i mean he does look like he's running a little funny but left footed shot he gets it into the back of the net is he not gonna he's not gonna run off again he's grabbing his arm i think so i think it's like an arm or shoulder thing i'm gonna have to take benzema off again and we face man city i think in a week so this is not it's not looking great okay good ball fernando fernando alaba alaba protecting montoya makes a good interception there pro sevilla are pressing is this their style that has allowed them to be in first place i'm not sure but vinicius benzema you're wide open i think benzema you're gonna be wide open are you still hurt he's still hurt oh, okay oh he fell over again benzema get off the field okay we're bringing on enzo fernandez for benzema it's unfortunate but i hope he's fine three games and two injuries for benzema it's not a good sign we got lucky the first time i feel like we're not gonna get lucky the second time but we'll see i would say since uh zidane is taking over though this team at first looked kind of shaky but now we're looking like a much better team because of that managerial move montoya oh montoya i feel like you should have saved that one we put him in a bad spot but i feel like you should have saved it and uh i mean yeah we pretty much left him out to dry it's like a free shot at goal all right i'm not gonna blame montoya entirely 2-1 right when i say we're looking good right all right enzo fernandez to holland back to enzo enzo through ronaldo are you on side i feel like he's offside i feel like he's offside uh yeah he is i had a feeling it was i was timed just a little bit wrong too many into enzo fernandez shot enzo i'm are, are you left footed he better be right footed because oh man that was bad holland enzo fernandez a chance to redeem yourself it's gonna be a tough one oh, okay he did well there but that was a good save that was extremely tough holland good touch second half begins into ronaldo i think into cr7 and that's not gonna be three no it's gonna stay two nil because what a save i totally thought that was gonna be a goal cross in that's a goal right there that's a goal that's a goal nope another good save second third time around and he's just gonna grab it yeah this game is definitely not safe right now because sevilla since they scored that they look better they're league leaders for a reason montoya has that one comfortably holland can we find ronaldo holland what a good ball to ronaldo ronaldo actually almost gets to that wow all right vinicius you are finding a lot of space in this 4-3-3 i like it but holland okay that was a bad pass i want to make this 3-1 if, if we leave it at 2-1 i feel like they're gonna equalize at some point we gotta put this team to bed good cross in that's gonna be whoa what an awkward clearance montoya punches it out oh man i got very scared it was a very awkward spot but he did good there holland to enzo vinicius to holland back to ronaldo ronaldo to vinicius the movement between the front three is dreamy right now holland to ronaldo back to holland holland please score that oh what a move by real madrid that is the kind of goal that will just win you a game just like that started with a montoya like clearance and then the movement was just it was just beautiful that should be enough for us to win this game but i mean who knows we'll see we got 15 more minutes hendrick who is brought on enzo fernandez into mr ronnie 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 keeper oh what a good save this keeper's actually played really good for conceding three goals he's made some very good saves and good uh decisions oh no ball in oh no Montoya is goal difference gonna be an issue is head-to-head -head gonna be an issue okay three two I don't like that but we're still gonna win definitely leaves uh, a stain on this game but three two we still get uh now three points on Sevilla so now a four point lead for them I mean Zidane's got this team looking much better it's simply simply put it and also Montoya huge game for us in goal I would say he's earned the next uh Iker Casillas title for now so we're looking to reach the Copa del Rey final La Liga now it's only a four point lead and then the big one Champions League round of 16 second leg we are in such a good spot here we'll all be decided in the next episode which I'm planning to be the season two finale so next episode we'll decide if there even is going to be a season three depending on how this season finishes i mean with uh zidane's leadership okay hold up i just forgot the benzmo's injured oh okay so it's the same injury i think it's a bruised elbow only out for five days wow our luck is insane that's two very lucky injuries so he's gonna be back um in time for man city oh yeah definitely in time i said a week i forgot round of 16 they're a month apart i forgot so we're good on injuries fronts for now but i truly think zidane is the best qualified to lead this team to a champions league title we will find that out in the next episode okay in this episode we're gonna see if zidane can lead this amazing Real Madrid squad to a champions league trophy i mean benzema vinicius holland ronaldo we got the players to win the champions league but they need to prove that they can win it though so copa del rey we are four points behind sevilla and first in la liga and then champions league we are three nil up on man city in the round of 16 we got a lot of games left so drop a like also with that sub button down below if you have not and let's get into it okay first comment you should do one more season of this series yeah i think pretty much that depends on how we finish this season season two which will be decided in this season finale this episode and also of course whatever you guys want to see like if we win the champions league does that mean we should end this series should we try and go back 
back to back in season three. We will see how this season ends. And then you guys in the comments, let me know what you guys want to see. We need the next Ozil to replace Benzema for that camp spot. I mean, yeah, maybe we send a scout to Germany to find the next Ozil. It would be a pretty good uh, youth player to find. So in a potential season three, maybe we go and look for that. And the last comment, I appreciate the kind words, of course. Loving the new location. Yeah, it's actually a new apartment that I moved into with my girlfriend. So I know the background is, uh, it's very boring right now, but over time, it'll be spruced up a little bit. Because right now, it's kind of a mess. Okay, this season, the focus is always the champions. Like, that was the main focus. So first game is the second leg versus Real Sociedad, which we're going to sim and pretty much just hope for the best here. So 2-1, it's going to be another 2-1 scoreline. So we are in the Copa del Rey final again, courtesy of a Ronaldo brace. And Celta Vigo, that's going to be a 1-1 draw. Holland scores, but that is uh, that is two more drop points right there. I mean, any more drop points from here on out, the title might be gone. Next one is going to be 2-0, courtesy of Ronaldo, and then Vinicius. And now we got Man City second leg, which we're up 3-0. Am I comfortable enough to sim this? I mean, it's Man City, but we are up 3-0, though. I think I trust half bald man to get it done. Put Man City to bed. This game is going to be, oh man, okay, 2-0 to Man City. We still go through though. Oh, I got a little worried. I got very worried actually. That would have been embarrassing, but we do get by Man City. And then Alaves is going to be, it's going to be 2-1. Holland scores. We just lost to Alaves. Oh man, Sevilla is leading up to, uh, up to seven points again. We might just be not destined to win La Liga this season. I don't know. Sevilla are playing that good and we just can't catch them. So next game, let it go Madrid. We're going to sim this because the next game, uh, you'll see in a second why. But away from home, it's going to be a 2-2 draw. So Ronaldo Hakimi scores. Benzema gets a disallowed goal. I think we can kiss the La Liga title goodbye at this point. But once again, the champions like, was always the main focus this season. So we got by Man City. Now quarterfinals, we have been drawn Atletico Madrid. So a Madrid derby champions of quarterfinals. Our uh, first leg is at home. We're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg. Of course, we're also facing them in the Copa del Rey final. How many times are we going to face Atletico Madrid? Okay, first leg, just, just leave it close, please. They got Odegaard. That's a good signing. Just leave the game close. First leg is going to be... 2-0. That's better than close. Holland, Chumini score. I will absolutely take that. And then uh, Levante is going to be 2-1. Benzema and Holland, but still, I think the league title is gone. Yeah, so we got seven games left and a nine-point deficit. But Champions League was the focus. Let's put Atletico Madrid to bed. 2-0. Let's try to score one or two quick and just put them away early. Like, I don't want them to score. They make this all a dramatic uh, affair. We were gifted a two-goal lead. Let's try and keep it. Team is fully fit. We got Ronaldo firing all cylinders. Benzema, is he gonna hurt? he's getting hurt for two seconds, but we should beat Atletico Madrid. Alaba, what a Tackle on Felix. What a start. Holland to Ronaldo. 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 Whoa. What a madman. Ronaldo. This is prime Ronaldo. This is prime Ronaldo. All black makes the save. Ronaldo is just a psycho with a noodle hair. And she is crossing Benzema. Benzema. That's yours. All oh, Benzema. What a start. Let it go, Madrid. Go. Get out of here. Go to bed. It's bedtime. That took us, what, like under 10 minutes? Vinicius corner. Benzema gets to it. Yeah, no, Black. I don't know why he's coming out that that far. That is 3 0. We might end this uh, a bit quicker than we even thought. Whoa. Bro, what is what are they doing? See, on our sliders on ultimate, they're still doing passes like that. It makes no sense. Now I just said that. They're going to come back. Watch. Now that I just criticized the CPU. Let it go, Madrid. They're going to come back. Watch. They're going to come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that move. That was insane, Mendy. Please get it out. Oh, okay. That's awkward. We do get it out, though. Oh, we can end this. We can end this right now, Holland. Holland is in. He's just so free. He's a free man. And that's that's 4-0. All right, Holland. Just put them to bed. Yep. Tell them to go to bed. Uh, this this game's over already. And that game ends 4-1. Wow. Fastest, like, champions in quarterfinal and second leg of all time, I think. So, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Chelsea, and Juventus are through. We could have an El Clasico semifinals here. Which is that what we have? I'm nervous. Semifinals are going to be... It's going to be... Okay, we got Juventus. Okay. Now, Juve are actually tricky in FIFA to me. So, I'm not I'm not that confident in that one. Now, we do have Barcelona here. But the league title, I think, is gone. So, I think we're going to mainly focus on the Copa del Rey trophy. And then the Champions League trophy. The rest of the Champions League. Because honestly, I think the boys absolutely blew this league title. We'll see if they can win in a sim game. Which, at the new camp, this game is going to be 2-1. Okay. Tony Cruz next. Sergio Ramos scores the winner in the 84th minute. I like to see that. I mean, maybe if we start winning games, we can come back on Sevilla. But it's very, very unlikely. This one is going to be 2-0 courtesy of Holland and Holland. Now we got the Copa del Rey final against Atletico Madrid, who we just beat in like two seconds. Um, La Liga. Okay, we got five games left and a seven-point lead, actually. I mean, there's a slight chance of a comeback, but it's, it's very, very slight. All right, I'm getting I'm getting mad deja vu right here, but you know what? I'll let it come and just wear that ugly kit. We're going to wear our nice kit, and I think we're going to go after this uh, trophy. Now, Benzema, he's gotten hurt a lot, so I think we might actually start Rodrigo at Cam. Let's do that. And then Ronaldo, if we win this, he gets to lift the trophy, I think, just like last year we did this. So, Copa del Rey final. Copa de España. Now, with the way that last game went, I'm kind of confident here we can win this uh, pretty comfortably. But FIFA's FIFA. Every game is different, so sometimes you play one team, and it's an easy win. The next time, you lose heavily, so I am not sure what to expect, but we're going to start this off hopefully going to win this trophy rodrigo i had to do that just to test the water a little bit all right vinicius 
into whoa what about ronaldo 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 oh man just need a little bit more space for that shot initiates to holland holland you're not gonna get that i need you to stretch out a leg to actually win that initiates to holland this time gets through to rodrigo ronaldo flips it up to rodrigo in for benzema that's gonna be cleared ronaldo over to valverde volley oh man i thought that looked really good okay holland just got taken out is that gonna be a red is it gonna be red it's gonna be a harsh yellow ball into rudiger remember he scored to win us the la liga title last season i see ronaldo though Ronaldo, Ronaldo turns, Ronaldo, weird angle. It's gonna be blocked. That's gonna be all oh, true meaning. Oh no, oh no. Okay, it's gonna be no card. This could have been a red. Definitely a bit, a little bit too aggressive by true meaning. Yeah, that, that might be a red card right there. Thankfully, the ref is a Real Madrid fan. Too many into Rodrigo, back to true meaning. Ronaldo, I see you, Ronaldo. Oh, what a good ball by true meaning. Ronaldo, dink it to Holland. Oh man, what a good block by Gomez. Good move by Atletico Madrid. Defense holding up as of now, Mendy. Misses attack on Correa, Alaba recovers though for him and then mandy wins that back and we get this out comfortably we will I feel like atletico madrid were much better last season than this season i remember our games last season were so close it has not been exactly the same this game so far it's been a little bit close but their defense is blocking our shots as of now all right second half begins now atletico madrid have like barely any shots i think they still have zero shots so i do feel like whoa we just took that man out again we are fouling him left to right rudiger again whoa that was almost a very bad tackle actually i feel like we're gonna score pretty soon here i'm feeling it too many into holland holland find ronaldo maybe holland find ronaldo oh man man if that was in the space we would have won that holland he's a psycho like ronaldo that's why they work so well together but that pass was so bad vinicius holland ronaldo ronaldo hit vinicius oh man man they're blocking our passes so well right now vinicius gets it to akimi ball up to ronaldo ronaldo oh what is that what is happening here is he offside i think it was actually handballing ronaldo cover day Gumini. Come on, we got to start the season finale off with a, with a trophy. Bumini into Vinicius. Find this goal. Holland to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Man, the touches right now are a little bit off. Holland into Valverde. Valverde. Ronaldo. No. Wrong player. Goes to Ronaldo now. That's going to be a shot. Okay, finally. Holland and Ronaldo are like making the same run there. Ronaldo gets the ball. Captain's armband. And he scores the first goal of the Copa del Rey final. I mean, to be honest, we felt like the better team. Just now, finally, we have a goal to show for it. And of course, it's Mr. CR7. All right, 20 more minutes. One goal lead. Mendy has he's played pretty good this game. I like to see it. Ronaldo. Chumini. Rodrigo. To Holland. Holland. The hold-up play is amazing. Then what a good ball to Vinicius. Vinicius cross it in to Ronaldo. Ronaldo climbs. Oh, what a move that is. That is a move that will win you a trophy. Why are we zooming in on Ronaldo's boots? I want to see the suey. Okay, that, that move was pretty decent right there. I mean, Holland's pass. Vinicius just opened up the space. Ronaldo climbs. He's 38, almost 39. He's still the goal scorer, though he is. Okay, we got Endrick. Enzo Fernandez coming on. Also, uh, Kemavinga. I am ready to lift this trophy. Ronaldo's ready. Because Letico Madrid have kind of laid a little bit of a stinker here. Ronaldo hat trick. Ronaldo hat trick. Ronaldo goes around one like he's not even there. Endrick to Holland. Holland. Okay, how do we not score from that? Endrick, I know you're like 17, but you're just, you're about to be fined like 5 million euros for that. Okay, Correa, don't score here. Don't score here. Make it interesting. Thank you. Thank you. He does not. Okay, it's about time. That is full time. Atletico Madrid did not give us much challenge here at all. Ronaldo, a brace. Captain's armband. Easy Copa del Rey trophy to start the, the season finale. I mean, it's nice, but we, we know the trophy we want. We know it. The Champions League. But it's always nice in the build up trying to get that Champions League trophy for Ronaldo to lift the Copa de España trophy. So, trophy number one of season uh season two at least major trophies we're probably not gonna win la liga i mean it's a slight chance but champions league i think we have a really good chance if this team can actually do it okay champions league semifinals real madrid versus juventus so first leg is at home now their team i mean it doesn't look bad of course vlavic kiesa apogba mckenny hernandez but i mean it's a solid team but we are literally the avengers so first leg is gonna be it's gonna be 3-1 to real madrid finishes finishes and benzema we might just be a little bit too much to handle for juventus to second leg two goal lead same deal against uh against let madrid same thing we gotta lock this game up and reach the champions league final um valencia before that that's gonna be 2-1 courtesy of mendy and then benzema and now we are one game away from reaching the champions league final and i mean unless my memory is that bad i'm pretty sure last year last season season one we got knocked out in the champions league semis so can zinedine zidane lead this team one step further to the final where we could face barcelona or chelsea if we get there 3-1 lead we gotta close this team out ronaldo benzema holland you're so offside the pass didn't even get through it doesn't even matter oh man oh kiesa kiesa almost a penalty it's gonna be a foul though that's not good it's gonna be a free kick in a very good spot for juventus oh no is paul pogba about to score and make this 3-2 free kick he is gonna yep didn't think so second one. Oh, they're gonna shoot it actually okay mendy what a good defensive play that is if they shot that normally they might have scored Kesa, 
into Vlaovic. Vlaovic shot. Oh, Vlaovic scores a outside the, the box finesse shot. This is 3-2. This is exactly what we did not want. I wasn't expecting this. Vlaovic turns and then he just shoots an absolute like banger. Okay, 3-2. We can't panic. We're going to have to score. We're going to have to beat this team. It's not going to be as simple as just holding the lead. Vinicius into Valverde. Back to Vinicius. Do we have a target in the box? We have Holland. Of course we do. Vinicius actually goes to Ronaldo. It's going to be uh, going to be cleared, though. I'm saying Juventus, they're like a sneaky team. I feel like they usually do well against me for some reason. I don't know. Like, Piemonte Calcio, I was not afraid of. But Juventus, I'm kind of afraid of. Oh, no. Okay, Vlaovic, thankfully offside. I was about to throw up. I see a potential disaster here. But Ronaldo, Ronaldo, can he, can he help us? Finesse shot. Okay. Ronnie, that was a little bit too much power on that one. Trying to be a superhero. Oh, no. Rudiger, Rudiger. Oh, Rudiger. That's a strong tackle, but it's beautiful. Kimi. To Vinicius. Vinicius. Benzema's making a run. Benzema decently. Benzema get it out to Hakimi. Now I see Ronaldo far post. Hakimi. What a cross. Ronaldo. Oh, header. That's going to be 4 2. What a cross by Hakimi. And it's again going to be Mr. CR7. We got Holland. Benzema. Vinicius. But it's still Cristiano Ronaldo doing all the business for us. His cross, though, by Hakimi. First time cross. Ronaldo fights for it. It's at the keeper, but. It's just too strong, I guess. Okay, I feel much better now. 4 2. Two goal lead restored. Benzema. To Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Chumini. Into Holland. All oh, the space. Benzema. Please score that. All oh, the Champions League final. The ticket is being processed right now. It's not booked yet, but it's being processed. It's very close. That is 5 2. Juventus are very close to being put to bed. I think that a Ronaldo goal really just hurt their morale a lot. Benzema. Holland. Are you on side? I think he is. Holland. I believe he's on side. And that's going to be 6 2. Juventus. Get out of here. Champions League final. The ticket is officially booked. We are going to either face Chelsea or Barcelona, and it's going to be so dramatic. Zidane is loving it. A uh, half hair Zidane. And uh, this this game is done. 6-3 is the final scoreline. All right, Champions League final. Who's it going to be? Chelsea or Barcelona? It is going to be... It's going to be Barcelona. What else did we expect? They beat Chelsea 4-2. Uh, it is an El Clasico Champions League final. Oh, the, the drama there is just immense. Uh, first, let's see if we can actually make a comeback on... On Sevilla, which I highly doubt. Um, Real Sociedad is going to be 3-0. Benzema, Ronaldo, and Ronaldo. Okay, hold up. We just beat Real Sociedad, and I'm just seeing now Sevilla. I am pretty sure they lost their last game. Who did they lose to? Um, They drew with the Getafe. We're on 35 games each, and we're now only three points behind Sevilla. Point is, they, they drop points somewhere. Three-point lead, three games left. We actually have a chance for La Liga. We got Getafe, Real Betis, and then Villarreal. If we do this, it's going to be nuts. Getafe away from home. This game is going to be 2 Nil, Vinicius and Benzema. Oh man, we are tied on 80 points, but they're above us on head to head because they beat us, right? Is that that's gotta be what it is? Oh, remember that it was 3-1. Remember they scored in like the 90th minute to make it 3-2? Oh, that game right there. So 3-2. What was the earlier meeting? Oh, it was 2-0. So it's oh my, it's so it's 4-3 on aggregate. If they didn't score that 90th minute goal that meant nothing, we might actually be in first place. I can't believe it. I'm sick. We still got two games left. There's still a chance though. So they face the Levante final day. And then they face uh, Villarreal, right? No, Valladolid. Oh, that's not good. I thought it was Villarreal. All right, Real Batiste. This game is going to be 4-1. Ronaldo, Rudiger, Holland, and Alaba. Are we in first or are we still tied on points? We are going to be... Oh, we're still going to be in second place. So they beat Valladolid, right? Oh, they beat Valladolid 2-1. Okay, so we got Villarreal final day. They got Levante. If they draw or lose and we win, we could still win La Liga, which would be nuts. So, of course, it goes down the final day. We got to play this game. So... Villarreal way, I mean, they're definitely not an easy team to beat. Um, I think we go strongest 11 by far. Just no question about it. Now, I have not touched Ronaldo's rating since like the second episode of this season. He's played so well that naturally he stayed at a 90. And now pretty much we try and win this game and just see what happens at, in the Sevilla game. There's a slight chance we could go back to back in La Liga. It feels like five minutes ago they had like a nine point lead in first. Like this is nuts. It'll be one of the biggest like bottle jobs of all time if they let us win this La Liga trophy. So let's just win this game. And once again, just uh, see what happens. I can't believe that one goal they scored i remember saying like goal difference or head-to-head -head might be an issue that one goal they scored is why they're in first uh, i think that just hit the post by the way i can't believe that if we just didn't let them score that we'd be tied on head-to-head -head, and then we'd be above on goal difference that is nuts okay we gotta focus oh no we gotta focus here okay i gotta focus it's one note of villarreal they are trying to prevent us from even having a chance here now nah, we're, we're winning this i'm calling it we are winning this game we are locking in right now holland oh give and go with ronaldo ronaldo you are the man to do it, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo chop. Shoots. Okay, why did I do that? I'm trying to do too much. Those two defenders are so close. I thought that would work. Oh, Valverde. Great steal. Vinicius. To Ronaldo. 
Through to Holland. Oh, the, the, the counterattack should be so much better. Holland, that first touch. I expected more. Camini, Valverde, into Ronaldo, into Holland. Holland across goal. Benzema. Oh, man, we should have scored that. Oh, wait, that was uh, that was Valverde. I and mean, it was offside, too. Okay, kind of a weird start here. Vinicius to Holland. Holland gets it to Benzema. Benzema. Oh, man, I saw Ronaldo a little bit. This is not the game to start doing this. Thankfully, he's offside. Okay, Villarreal, this is not going to be easy. Ball to Benzema. Benzema to Holland. Oh, man, I see the attack happening so well. It's just we got to execute. Holland to Benzema. Benzema. Benzema through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Gee, decent chance to shoot. Ronaldo is just too good. It's 1-1. Grab the ball. We are winning this game. I can't believe how good Ronaldo has been in this series. I can't believe it. Just if he's just so clinical in front of goal. It's nuts. All right, 1-1. We are winning this game. Oh, no. Ball behind. We got speed. We got speed. Rudiger. Rudiger catches up. Oh, Rudiger just saved us there. I think I just got goal news that Tavia is 2-1 up against Levante. So that's not good, but at least Levante are not losing. Oh, Holland, that first touch. Man, some of Holland's first touches are just so, so bad. Benzema, Benzema. Oh, man, he just like, he just bobbled the ball a little bit. Holland to Benzema. Get it. Vinicius to who else other than Mr. CR7? It's 2-1. Tavia might still win and then win the league. We got to give ourselves a chance, though, by winning this game. Ronaldo has two. 44th minute, it's 2-1. All right, free kick, pretty much last kick of the first half. Should be cleared. It is cleared. Now, are we going to learn the score of the Sevilla game? Okay, they're 2-1 up on Levante. So, Levante, I need you to score just one goal, please, and just hold it there. And we're going to try to just score a few more if we can. Valverde into Benzema. Benzema, Valverde through to Holland. Is he onside? I think he is. Holland. Cross to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, man, I tried to head it to Benzema. That did not work. Back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, please. Ronaldo goes for a shot. Oh, I messed that up so bad. I mean, it's so much more complicated than it had to be. Come on, score from this corner. Please give me something. Benzema, Benzema. Oh, the keeper's gonna grab it. Why is Koble playing for Villarreal? Oh, no. Sevilla are, are 3-1 up on Levante. Oh, no. I don't like that. That could be the nail in the coffin for our uh, league title hopes. Once again, just worry about ourselves. Ronaldo just got taken out. Please don't get hurt. Thank you. Holland. Through to CR7, not gonna reach it. Man, Levante, why did you have to concede again? Mimini up to Holland. Holland, get it, CR7, he's by himself. CR7 holds it up a little bit. Gets it to Benzema, Benzema. Lift it to Ronaldo. That, not exactly uh, lifting it to Ronaldo. All right, 79th minute, still 2-1 in this game, but I've not heard any news from the Sevilla game. I feel like, feel like there's not much chance here. I mean, they were through one up, so you know what? To give ourselves a chance in the final day to win, a, to win the league, I would say is a solid accomplishment. We just were not as good in the league this season. Whoa, Akimi, what a ball to Holland. Holland, through to Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. We find Holland. Oh, you saw what I was trying there. It almost worked. Yeah, I'd still like to win this game, though. Give ourselves an actual chance. That's going to be a tackle by Rudiger. It is such a good tackle. Ronaldo to Vinicius, Vinicius. Oh, man, how do I get that to Ronaldo? I was going to play it to Holland. 90th minute, though. Oh, no. Okay, don't let him score here, please. Please. Don't let them score here. Oh, oh, they're actually going to score. Okay. If it actually matters and Sevilla lost to Levante or Drew, I'm going to be so, so mad. Although I, I highly doubt it mattered. Man, that's just not a good way in the end of the season, though. Literally the last game of the game. I can't believe that. So it obviously means we did not win the league, but I, I feel like Sevilla won. They were through one up. We already knew that, so that goal doesn't hurt as bad as it could have. We got so close, but now we look towards the Champions League final against Barcelona. Yeah, Sevilla beat Levante 4-1, so it was even worse than we thought. I cannot believe that, though. If we did not concede that goal, that, that second goal to Sevilla in that game, we would have actually won the league. I would have taken that last game a lot more serious. I can't believe that. One goal. All right, now it is the Champions League final. The main focus of season two, though. We, we have to win this. If we lose it, it will be such a big disappointment. All right, final stats for season two, though. Uh, top score, Ronaldo, 40 and 23. He's the definition of a madman. And then Holland, first season, Ronaldo, 40 and 35 from these two, like a strike partnership. It was amazing. And then Benzema at camp, 21 and 20. He was injured here and there. Still great stats, though. And then Vinicius playing like fourth choice uh, goals score i guess 13 and 15 strong akimi 7 and 10 i would say right here five best players this season along with courtois and probably a uh, alibi i think it all comes down though to the champions league final so at wembley el Clasico, torres Lewandowski, dembele diong danny omo kessi tierney araujo christensen kunde and ter stegen i mean i feel like we got the better team although it, it is actually probably i think closer than it seems so many implications so much drama we will see if we can win this el Clasico champions league final 
So Carlo Ancelotti fired midseason. Zidane takes over. He signs a six-month contract. So this could be his final game as manager Real Madrid again. But we reach the Champions League final without much, uh, much issue. We're facing now Barcelona. I mean, we've beaten them in this series pretty much pretty heavily. They've also beat us pretty good. So I would say it's pretty even. And that is the trophy that we're trying to lift by the end of this season two finale. Champions League final. We're kicked off. I mean, what's more special than an El Clasico Champions League final? Man, there's so much riding on this one game. Okay, that's good. That's a good move. Rudiger. Rudiger. Rudiger, Rudiger. Okay, that's a little, uh, a little shaky, but it's fine. But on Torres, okay, awkward spot, very awkward. Danny Olmo, that was a very good dribble. Okay, we just missed like two tackles. Alaba into Rafinha, bro. Rafinha's first touch was so good. It's one 0 to Barcelona. I remember Rafinha played so well against us like last time we played them. His first touch right here is insane. Look at this first touch, Rafinha. First touch. Oh, that little move. How am I supposed to defend that? Rafinha is just a beast in the save. Like, that first touch created so much space. Okay, we guys still had so much game left. Eight minutes in, though. Barcelona score, and they're up 1-0. We got so much football left, boys. Come on. Ronaldo. Dink to Holland. We're going for a header. Holland. Oh, what a header by Erling Holland. Three minutes later, we equalize. Okay, what a start to this Champions League final. I did not think he was going to score that. The Norwegian superstar goes up for this. Almost, it's almost like an outside the box header. Like, that is nuts. This game is 1 1. What a start. Okay, Rafinha is just, he's just, he's just torching me right now. He is causing me so. Oh, that's a, pe that's a penalty. No, no, wait, 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 wait. You were not telling me that's actually a penalty. Rafinha was going, he was going off. He was going out. It was going to be a goal kick. And then Rudiger. Oh, I mean, that's, is a, that's a dive. I feel like that's a dive. He maybe clips him a little bit, but he's like not in a goal scoring position at all. Oh no. Lewandowski chance of Barcelona up 2-1 again. Oh, the drama of this. Lewandowski versus Courtois. He's going to go left, and Courtois makes the save. That could that could be so big. Alaba, good tackle. Let's get this ball out. Rudiger, I don't blame you. I don't, I don't think that was a penalty. I do not blame him at all. Benzema, oh, that gets through to Vinicius. We got Holland. Vinicius, early cross. is going to be blocked by uh, Tierney. All right, Vinicius, corner in. I want some good delivery. That's good delivery. Chumini, right at Ter Stegen, though. Holland to Benzema, Benzema, Benzema. Okay, that dribbling is so good. Could have played it to Holland. Probably should have. I thought we can get it to Vinicius. I guess not. Man, I'm feeling a bit nervous right now. Whoa, Rafinha. That was a nervous pass. Holland back to Benzema. Benzema. Can we find someone? Benzema. Oh, man. I got to be quicker. I'm like sitting on the ball too long. Rafinha's in a yellow. He better be careful. Too many. Into Benzema. Oh, man. Mendy was running so quick there. Everyone is just nervous right now. Ball over the top. Akimi has that comfortably, though. Over at eight. Back out to Akimi. Akimi to Holland. Holland. He got, you got the strength to hold him off. Into Akimi. Akimi. Far post cross Ronaldo. Not going to get it to him. Valverde. Can you find Ronaldo? Going to find Holland. Holland goes for it. Whoa. That wow was a weird shot. It actually looked good though. This is uh, this is incredibly tense right now. And that's going to be the first half. This game is currently 1-1. I mean, probably should be 2-1. Uh, but Courtois made that save on that penalty. Benzema to Valverde. Valverde to Holland. Holland back to Valverde. He needs some help though. Akimi. Cross to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, man. He didn't, even, he didn't even go for it. Man, was not feeling that cross at all. Bro, I am like terrified of Rafinha. Oh, I should have made that challenge. Thankfully. Thankfully, Rudiger puts his foot out because uh, I, I hesitated a little bit. And almost paid the ultimate price. Holland. 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 Gets it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Play it back to Holland. Oh, man. Christensen read it. That was almost such a good move. Ronaldo. Oh, we almost just stole that. Barcelona looking a little bit uh, shaky at the back. We got 30 more minutes left. Man, Rafinha is just an issue. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that, to be honest. Alaba. Alaba. Is that, that can't be another penalty. Get up. Okay, thank you. It's not. Short corner to Rafinha. Rafinha, he is just causing me so much pain. That's a header. Courtois makes a save, though. Corner sent it again. Ferran Torres. Courtois gets it. And we are going to chill. He gets it to Valverde. Valverde. I'm seeing some outlets here. He's got to find one. We're going to find Holland there. Holland. Holland. Through. Oh, Holland. What is that ball to Benzema? I feel like Holland is actually... I mean, he's good. He's a good goal scorer, but I feel like I remember him being better like uh, in Q22. Vinicius. Valverde. Oh, through Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Two. Erling Holland. I said that and he scores. That is the jinx. That's the reverse jinx. 76 minute. It's it's 2-1 to Real Madrid. That could be the goal that wins us the Champions League final. It's just once again, Vinicius, Benzema, Ronaldo, and Holland all combining to score. Those four players attract so much attention and each each of them can score like the finishing goal. This time it's Holland. He's got a brace in the Champions League final. We are 15 minutes away from hoisting the trophy. Oh, what is that ball? We could end this right now. But instead, Benzema has the heaviest touch of his life. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling Endrick for Vinicius. I'm really feeling that move right now. The uh, 17 Brazilian wonder kid. 
Can he help us just finish this game and allow us to win the Champions League? He's, he's dribbling pretty well there. Benzema into Ronaldo. Ronaldo turns. Oh, Ter Stegen makes a save. He didn't really turn well enough for that shot. We got eight minutes left. His clock is going down. Valverde cross in. Header. That could be it. Oh, Chumini off the crossbar. Oh, that could have settled it. This could be it, though. We look like we're in control. Just we got to keep it. Rafinha gets it over to Ferran Torres. Oh, man. Okay, I, should, I shouldn't have brought Akimi out of position there. Dembele, Akimi though. Akimi just got destroyed. Rafinha. Rafinha. Good block. Akimi gets it out. Good defending. We got a minute left. We got... Oh, no. What a good ball. Oh, Rudiger. Rudiger, that's a Champions League, like, saving tackle right there. Oh, that's going to be it. That that Rudiger tackle has just saved our Champions League trophy. Because they would have scored that. They totally would have scored that. Oh, man. Holland Brace wins us the Champions League. So, I would say maybe he was the signing to allow us to just get over the hump and actually win the Champions League. Oh, man. El Clasico Champions League final. A Real Madrid team led by Zinedine Zidane, Benzema, Holland, Ronaldo beat Barcelona and claim the beautiful Champions League trophy. I mean, this front four is like one of the most insane front fours I've ever had in any series I think in terms of like big name players like we've had players of these ratings but not like this I would say like reputation of high class players but Karim Benzema like the playmaker a sister of that front four is gonna lift the Champions League trophy for Real Madrid it's about time we should have did it in season one but season two we actually get it done. I mean, Ronaldo Holland were just so good in season two. So what does this mean? Do we do a season three, try to go like back to back in the Champions League maybe? Or do we just end this series here and start a new one? I'm not I'm not exactly sure what to do. Of course, I'm gonna need you guys' uh, comments down below what you think we should do. But we literally had an Avengers level team. So for us win the Champions League, I would say uh, it's what we should have done and we got it done in the end. Led by Zinedine Zidane, which that change mid season is now looking like a very good managerial change. But one last time for this season, Champions like winners Real Madrid oh man it's a it's a beautiful thing to see all right now what does this mean for the series what should we do season three maybe to see if this squad can go back to back in the Champions League see more of Endrick see more of like the youth players we found maybe we do a season three without Ronaldo okay we just won the Champions League with this Real Madrid squad but there's about to be some pretty big changes here Zinedine Zidane has left the club he has taken out the France manager job which was one of his like dream jobs so we need a new manager of course we got new kits for season three we're also gonna try to have some pretty big signings as well because our goal this season is to win the champions they go back to back i mean this squad with a few more additions definitely can do it but we also need to find the right manager for this squad too and one possibility is a former real madrid legend so drop a like hit that sub button down below if you're not as well and let's begin season three okay first comment sign verts replace benzema if you do another season yeah i mean benzema's 36 years old i don't know how much he's gonna drop so far he hasn't dropped that much uh same with ronaldo who's still here as of now has not retired yet i want to make like a, maybe two really big signings like uh, like Florian Verts, a player of that caliber, but if the budget allows us to. Next one, please do a season three. Yeah, so we're gonna do one more season of this series. It's gonna be very uh, shortened though. Like I'm, I'm thinking like three episodes. So probably three more days of the Real Madrid career mode, and then we start another new series. Which I have three teams in mind. I have the Credit Club with Kensington, of course, and then I also have two other clubs as well. I'm not sure which one we're gonna do first. But last one, do a Credit Club career mode with all the young players you found. Yeah, so I'm pretty much guaranteeing the Credit Club series is gonna be either the next series or the one after that. And our starting squad is gonna be full of all the youth players we found throughout all our series so far like barcelona liverpool wolves this uh, real madrid one the uh, starting squad for that series is gonna be very familiar to us obviously the ratings way lower to like whatever league we start in so that's coming for sure i'm just not exactly sure when okay so we need a new manager zidane did so well for the squad winning us champions like helping us but he got his dream job the france manager job so we uh we searched far and wide for a new manager but there was already one close by our new manager is gonna be raul he used to be the club's uh, real madrid's top scorer of all time i think ronaldo passed him and then benzema passed him but he is just a club legend and he's been managing like Real Madrid B and like a bunch of youth teams. So he's already here. It kind of makes a lot of sense to bring him in. Now, is he going to survive this season? I don't know. It depends on how good we play. With this kind of squad, you expect uh, some pretty good results. A, a young manager like Raul is going to be under a lot of pressure. But we're putting our faith in him at least to start this season. Now, speaking of the squad, the squad's really good, but I do feel like we could improve it a little bit. So I think I'm going to look to sell Mendy. Now, he's great, but I feel like that's one spot we could improve on, that left back spot. And then also, a player we might look to sell as well is going to be maybe Nico Williams. I mean, he's been very good. He's been injured here and there, but he's He's been good. I just think there may be a player there we can replace him with that might be a bit better for us. To help ensure we actually win the Champions League again in season three. The issue is you only have 138 million to spend. Like season three of a series, you'd usually have like 300 million. We only have 138. It's still a lot, but to sign some like world class players, you kind of need a bit more than that, just a little bit more. We're gonna see what we could do though. Okay, this was kind of just taken out of our hands, I guess. Wolves have paid a 96.7 release clause for Nico Williams. Okay, I mean we're looking to sell him, so it kind of makes sense. But what is his value? Nico Williams' value is uh 56. They're paying almost double for him. Oh 
oh man, I'm, we're gonna let that happen. And that could open up a lot of doors for us in this transfer window. All right, there it is. First departure, Nico Williams. It's kind of sad, but Raul's first uh, managerial move, I guess. Now, trust me, the player we're looking to replace him with, I think, uh, is gonna be a very big improvement and help us more than Williams would have. So unfortunately, it's gonna be a goodbye. But for double his value, I mean, how could we say no to that? So now we're at 227 million. Also, you might have noticed players like Benzema and Ronaldo have taken huge hits to their rating. I mean, they're just so old that it was bound to happen. 36 years old and now 39. They're still gonna start though, unless things go horribly wrong, they're still gonna start in the team to start the season. I think a big change is Alaba is gonna be a backup CDM to uh, Chumini. And then Vardy all becomes a starting center back alongside Rudiger. And then I want to replace Mendy. Which, okay, Villa want uh, Ferland Mendy. I mean, I don't want Kanza, but we could make this happen. I mean, Villa, I mean, they got some money, not a huge amount, but they got some. Uh, let's start like 70 million. 70 million? I think that would allow us to do what we wanna do. Okay, let's try 65 instead. 65 million for Mendy. I mean, that's a solid deal. I don't want Suso. 62.5 Steven Gerrard, who's not even the manager anymore. It's uh, Unai Emery. Take the deal. Take the deal. Okay, they're going to accept that. Things are in motion. We're about to make two signings. Okay, Mendy has been sold to Villa for 62 million. So I like Mendy, but he's one. I have a player in mind who would be so much better, I think. First up, let's try and replace uh, Nico Williams. Now, I, I got one player in mind, and that is Bukayo Saka. Now, with his versatility, he could play at Cam, play on the wing, maybe even a little bit midfield. And he's found himself at Liverpool, funny enough. So I'm not sure. Let's try 110 to start. 110 million. Jurgen Klopp. Send Saka to Real Madrid. I mean, a player of that quality, I could see him going to Real Madrid one day. Is that day gonna be today? 130 million? Make it 120. And I think we are signing Buke Osaka. That deal is gonna be accepted. I mean, it's a pretty high profile transfer. Now, is he gonna accept rotation? Maybe he wants important, which I think he will be. Because with Benzema and Ronaldo both aging and going down overall, I think uh, Saka might have a more important role than it initially seems. And also, he'd be kind of like a future replacement for them. So, the first signing of Raul's reign at Real Madrid is gonna be Buke Osaka. Just uh, his versatility in his stats are what's really interesting intriguing to me. Once again, midfield, cam, left wing, right wing, he can play everything. So is he going to be number 17? I mean, that's not a bad number for him, but uh, Bukai Osaka unveiled as a new Real Madrid player. Also, that home kit might look a little bit familiar to you guys, if you guys remember. They're not exactly new kits, they're kind of like classic kits. But welcome, Bukai Osaka. Now, I'd like to make him a right winger, see if we can do that, which I'll take two weeks. I think we are going to make him a right winger. So he'll take Nico Williams' uh, spot on the bench. We also made Endrick a striker, which is what you guys wanted to see too. So Saka, now we need a new left back. Alaba is fine as a left back, but there's also someone else we've been looking at. And that player is uh, Alfonso Davies. I'm now playing over at AC Milan. I mean, look at his stats. He's just so good. Imagine Davies left back, Akimi right back. That's like maybe the best two fullbacks in the world in this save right now. The question is, can we afford this? I think we can, but it's going to be a little close. So we're going to start with 115. See what they say to that. Raul, he is the man. He's got the checkbook out. He's spending big. I'm not giving up Rodrigo though. Right, let's go up to 120 again. I feel like that might be the similar price as um, as Saka a little bit. 124.9. You know what? I think uh, I think that's a done deal. Now, once again, this season is going to be very fast paced. We're going to get through a lot of games like very quickly so these two signings just to ensure try to give us our best chance of going back to back while still playing Ronaldo Benzema the older players in the squad still starting them like they could drop like down to the 70s maybe but Alfonso Davies should accept that which he is going to we have our new starting left back like Mendy and Davies I mean they're I would say maybe similar players in FIFA their stats but Davies is just better so I feel like it was a solid replacement and there is signing number two so once again Alaba uh, he's gonna be a backup CDM and then Alfonso Davies slots into that left back spot I mean this team is looking pretty good. It's just Ronaldo Benzema. They're going to be dropping pretty rapidly. Can everyone else carry them? And Ronaldo, he's been so good this series. Can he continue to perform? We're going to see because this season three is going to be quick, but I feel like also very eventful. Okay. First game is the Super Cup against Arsenal. Honestly, I'm not too worried about this. So this game is going to be three nil Holland, Ronaldo Benzema, the main three, uh, quite the start to season three. I mean, our new manager role has been the remedy system already for a few seasons. So he's coming to the team and he's not going to change too much. He knows obviously this works, but Bukayo Saka to, he's going to go to right wing. Stays 86, but he'll be an 87 in five weeks. So now first game of the season, uh, first La Liga game. We are facing Hirona. And I think honestly, I want to give Saka his first start. So he's going to start for Vinicius. Benzema's are 84. I feel like him and Ronaldo are going to drop so quickly. I feel like they're still going to be good though. I don't know. Also, Alfonso Davies debut for Real Madrid. And then uh, new kits for season uh, season three. Am I saying new, but they're not exactly new. I mean, you guys have probably seen that kit before. If I'm not wrong, I think it's the 2013-14 kit. I mean, hey, it, it looks kind of like the little orange trimming on the, on the arms and neck. And then the away kit is a very nice, like deep blue. It just looks clean and it also pops. And then third kit, we got the orange kit. Now, when I look at this kit, I imagine Ronaldo like scoring a free kick. I like my memory. I remember him scoring a free kick in that kit. I mean, they're nothing like too special. We got some uh, bright colors though. Just to switch things up. First game, we're going to use the all white though, of course. So Raul's first game, Saka, Davies into the team. What is this kind of like aging squad going to look like in season three? All right, I'm curious. Ronaldo, Benzema have dropped, I think like a mo like maybe a combined like 17 ratings. Are they going to be the same players? Vardial is now starting. Like, is he going to take a big leap this season? Is Saka going to be good is Davies gonna be good we're gonna find that out uh Chumini that is a psychotic clearance though okay Ronaldo 
Long ball up. Okay, you know what? That's not the worst ball, Ronaldo. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, Vardio. Vardio. Okay, he just missed a tackle. He's become a starter, and his first move is he misses a tackle into Alexi Garcia. Okay, Davies, what's happening here? Okay, Chumini. I think he was blocking that decently, but I'm still scared. What is this dribbling? What is this dribbling? Chris Wall makes a save. Akimi gets it out. What am I even watching? Boys, we are the we are the uh, Champions League holders. Ronaldo. Through to Bukayo Saka. Oh, gets onto it. Saka. Chance for a debut goal. Saka. Chance for a debut goal. What a finish by Bukayo Saka. Scores on his debut. That was a very, very clean finish right there. Like, good first touch. Gets away from the defender. And then left foot. He just waits. Finds his spot. And just passes it into the net. I mean, not bad for, like, his first touch for Real Madrid. Benzema. Saka. Up to Holland. Holland. Holland, we're going to chip the keeper. We're going to try to chip him. We did not actually chip him. Davies, Davies, Davies. Okay, I feel like Davies, is he less strong than... Uh, okay, can someone, like, get the ball, please? Vardy, I'll thank you. Someone decided to turn around there. I feel like uh, Davies might be less strong than uh, than Mendy. I don't know if that's just me thinking that. Let's see, Davies. Okay, Vardy, at least we got a strong center back next to Davies. And not going to lie, this is a lot of defending for us. Okay, uh, Vardy is definitely warmed up now. All right, Holland, what do we got? Holland, we got Benzema, but Holland... He's going to go himself. He's going to shoot. Okay, that's off of the center of the center back's face. That is extremely disappointing. All right, one no courtesy of Saka. Second half, I feel like we probably should be beating this team a little bit easier. So, you know what? Let's try and do it. We are the Avengers, the Galacticos, whatever you want to call it. Holland to Ronaldo gets it to Davies. Now, people get into a good spot. Ronaldo from the stratosphere. It actually wasn't that bad considering the angle. Oh, man. Varniol is playing so good now. Like, he has taken the task of that starting spot. Benzema flipping Holland. That is horrendous from Benzema. Ronaldo. To Holland, Holland, wait for Saka to run a little bit. Now we got space, Saka. Ronaldo, you're offside. Saka, now he's not. Saka, what a cross to Ronaldo. Not going to reach him, though. Okay, we're going to chance maybe shoot this. This is going to be Rudiger. He scored. Oh, oh, Rudiger. Okay, this man's got long shots. He scored one just like that to win us the title in season one, and he just scored an absolute banger again. That's so funny. I've literally seen compilations of how bad his long shots are, how many t how many times he tries it, and it goes, like, flying over the stadium. But apparently in this save, he's just the long shot king. That is extremely far out right there. That's got to be, like, 30 yards, right? That's got to be at least 30, 35-ish range. Oh, that's just beautiful. When your center back is doing that, you know the other team is scared. Too many into Ronaldo. Is Ronaldo going to score? The rating is dropped. Is he still Ronaldo? What did Holland just do there? He's like teleported to the left. Vardial, Vardial, you were like the, the best young center back probably in the world. Whoa, Rudiger, that was an extremely acrobatic uh, clearance. Oh, no, it's going to be a shot. Courtois does make the save, though. Corner in, Courtois. Whoa, shaky. Vardial gets it out. Very shaky, Courtois. Thank you. Benzema. Oh, just destroy that defender, Ronaldo. Benzema. Benzema, get it to Saka. He stays on side, actually. Saka. Oh, he's going to get to it. He is. Look at Saka's strength there. In to Valverde. Into all oh, Ronaldo's offside. I believe he's offside. No, he's not. He's actually onside. Okay, Ronaldo does score in the first game. It's 3-0. This has been a solid, solid performance. I was pretty sure he was offside. I guess not. That was a sack of winning that ball to allow that chance. But Ronaldo, good finish. All right, Holland, Ronaldo, and then Benzema all taken off. Now, their stamina is pretty low, so we're going to have to manage Ronaldo Benzema. That's why we signed Saka. Oh, no, clean sheet. Oh, no, clean sheet is gone. A little stain on this game. Okay, yeah, we just fell asleep there. That's, that's not good. First game rust. We're going to attribute it to that. All right, Enzo Fernandez. What a good ball to Endrick. In to Vinicius Jr. And he's going to score and make it 4-1. Hey, Raul's first game in La Liga. This is a very, very, once again, strong performance. And uh, that is full time. What a great start to season three. 4-1. I would have liked the clean sheet, but you know what? I'll, I'll take the win. Raul is going to be happy about that. All right, so we do have $65 million to spend. But I think Saka and uh, Davies, I think that's going to be our only signings of the first window. Those are just two really good pickups, so I think that's going to be it. I'm very confident in this team that we could go back to back. But if things start slipping, we know the first person who's going to get blamed here. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Um, Levante is going to be 2 0 courtesy of Ben. Benzema and Holland, and then Osasuna is gonna be Osasuna is gonna be a one-one draw. Okay, I don't like seeing that. Games like that are the reason we didn't win the title last year. But transfer window is going to be shut. I think this season I would like to end this series by winning the treble. That would be perfect. So we're gonna try to treat every game, every competition with a, a decent amount of importance here. Valencia away is gonna be four-three. What a game! Holland, Holland, uh, Holland, and Ronaldo away from home. I mean, we conceded three, but what a win! All right, now we start the Champions League. Which our group? I mean, Dortmund, Lyon, two teams that are pretty good. This doesn't seem like a very straightforward easy group first game is gonna be Borussia Dortmund Holland's of course former team they got Griezmann Mason Mount Emil Smith Rowe Jared Bowen uh Justin Konza whoa this is an interesting team Kepa in goal what an odd assortment of players I know we're at home but I want to wear another kit for this game uh which one we wear we should go for the orange you know I want to go for the man okay let's go for the orange orange and black um Raul's first uh Champions League game as a manager all right boys come on we gotta start Champions League off uh, strongly. If we don't, Raul is going to be under a lot of pressure here if we lose this game at home. And already, okay, whoa, what a move by Adnori. He's mad because I sold him in the Wolves series. They almost just scored immediately. Okay, maybe these orange kids aren't that nice. I should have wore the white ones. I feel like I 
feel like it's bad juju at home at the Bernabeu not wearing the all whites. I have made a grave mistake. Oh, Smith Rowe. Okay, Davies, Davies, Davies. Very solid, solid tackle. Vinicius, Vinicius, Squeak Ronaldo. Ronaldo's in Ronaldo. First time shot to... Oh, Ronaldo, what a shot. Okay, Holland, can you, can you get that? No, he can't. Bro, Ronaldo, first time shot. That was insane. All right, Davies, your pace is like nuts. I want to actually see it, though. And I also want to see some defending just like that. That's not bad. Davies, okay, that was a bad pass. Guardiol, needs you to recover and save him, and he does. I'm not exactly sold on Davies yet. Did we make a mistake? Like, I knew Akimi from the start. Akimi was clearly the good choice. Ronaldo. Oh, it's a volley finish, and that's that's 1-0. It was just so simple. It was such a clean little hit. And that is how we start our Champions League uh, group stage. Ronaldo, I mean, it's a uh, decent technique. Vinicius gives it to Holland. Holland, through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, he's almost 40 years old, and he's still got the pace. Ronaldo is just still so good. He's dropped like five ratings in a span of two months. He's still scoring goals for fun. It's like, bro, this shouldn't be exactly possible, but it is in this series for some reason. Just Ronaldo and uh, Real Madrid go together so well. Now, Mason Mount playing for Dortmund. Yeah, that's kind of a weird one, to be honest. I'm not sure we'll ever see Mason Mount play for Dortmund. What we might see, though, is a Ronaldo hat trick in the first Champions League group stage again. Ronaldo, all decent first touch. We're going to go for the volley, Ronaldo. Oh, man, that was actually on target. Can you imagine he scores that? That would have been nuts. Okay, this is a great move. I'm, I'm noticing Davies, like, out of position a lot, but Vardial is saving him right now. He has been so good. I mean, second half begins. We're 2 up. It's not been that bad, Ronaldo. Chance to complete the hat trick. Oh, man, he's fighting for it. Oh, we can't quite get it. It's not been a bad game so far, though, as long as we don't concede. Once again, I'm feeling like Vardial, okay, Vardial just absolutely destroyed that man. What was that? Ball gets by Davies, gonna be offside. I feel like Vario is having to do a lot of uh, cover for Davies right now. All right, Ndombele. Oh, man, what a move. They should have scored that, actually. If they shot, they might have scored. Smith Rowe, what a good move. Vardio, he's doing everything right now in the back line. Too many. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo, power shot from Ronaldo. Oh, man, what a shot. I wanted that to go in and score so bad. I think uh, Kimi is probably the best right back I've used, I think, maybe ever in any series. He's honestly just, like, so insanely good. Vinicius. Back to Benzema. Benzema, that's a good chance to shoot. Benzema, it's going to go slightly over the net. All right, Tony Cruz, the next uh, Sergio Ramos is on for Rudiger, and then Saka is on for Vinicius. Saka immediately steals the ball. Immediately impact Ronaldo. Get it back to Bukayo Saka. Saka, first time shot. Saka. Oh, what a shot by Bukayo Saka. Whoa, I, I need to see that again. That first time shot, he wasn't even like looking at the goal. This is one of the cleanest hits I've seen so far in FIFA 23. First time shot. Oh, that's just beautiful. Takes the first time to like get, catch the keeper off guard. And yeah, he did. Also, even if he was ready, I don't think he's saving that. Bro, Saka has been amazing. He's coming for someone's starting spot. He's coming for Vinicius' starting spot, maybe. Oh, clean sheet. Clean sheet, please. Courtois makes a good save. Saves the clean sheet. I kind of expected a few struggles. Ronaldo and Benzema, their rating's dropping, but... Uh, Okay, right when I say that, right right when I say that, they're going to score. Why did I say anything? It happens every time. It's like I'm the ultimate jinxer. I was going to say I expect the game to be a little bit uh, tougher with the rating drop, but I mean, Ronaldo Benzema still have been so good. Benzema just got destroyed. He is, he's probably, he's probably uh, going to need an ambulance. Ronaldo. Oh, that's off the crossbar. Why is our long shot so good right now? Saka, corner in. Holland, man, he should have got that actually. Saka again steals the ball. You know, Saka... He is making a very good impression on me. Benzema, Benzema, trying to lift it to Ronaldo. We can't lift it. But man, Bukayo Saka is looking very good. Also, we're looking good. Everyone's looking at Raul right now. I mean, he take over a team. They just won the Champions League as your first actual big managerial job. And so far, we're looking good. So there's no pressure yet. Although that could change very quickly here at Real Madrid. Okay, next episode, we might get all the way to like maybe January or February. Like I said, this season three is going to go by very quickly. Raul's job is safe for now. Play in football, really. No one's really safe. Um, Holland, six goals. Ronaldo, five. The main boys are are still getting the job done. Okay, Raul is the new manager of this amazing Real Madrid squad. And his first two signings were Alfonso Davies, formerly of Bayern Munich, and also Bukayo Saka, formerly of Arsenal. So we spent big to try and reclaim our back-to-back -back Champions League title, which in this episode, we're gonna get through a lot of games. Raul has had a good start, but a Real Madrid manager's job is never really safe, especially with a squad like this. So drop a like, hit that sub button down below. Also, if you have not, is Raul gonna survive this season? Okay, first comment, he's trying to do an AC Milan career mode. Yeah, I think this year in View 23, we are definitely gonna do an AC Milan series at some point. I was not sure when. They're definitely a team that I want to try and uh, take them back to their former glory, especially in the uh, Champions League. Next one, train up Alfonso Davies' work rates. Yeah, I did notice in the first episode of the first episode we signed him, he was out of position so often. And I think you're right, it's definitely because of the high attacking work rate and low defensive work rate. So we're going to try and train that up because I feel like our left back, I mean, he's so good going forward, but we also need him to be like pretty good defensively. So we are going to try and train that up. And last one, maybe aim of the season could be to win every trophy possible. That is exactly the goal of the season. I want to win every single trophy possible, even minor trophies, major trophies, like super Cup, but I want to win everything. We most definitely have the squad to do it. We already beat Arsenal in the Super Cup, so that's one. So if I'm not wrong, I think that leaves uh, four more trophies to win this season. If we can win all five total, that would, that would
would be amazing. But okay, so far with Raul, it's been a decent start. We're sitting in first place. We've been playing, I would say, pretty decent. Now we're going to make a huge amount of progress in this episode. So we're going to sim a lot of league games off camera and like focus on the Champions League group stage mostly, I think, except for Atletico Madrid, Barcelona and the big games, which El Clasico coming up soon. An aging Benzema, an aging Ronaldo. I still think we can win everything in this season three. All right, so group stage start off with a one win out of one game. Next game is Young Boys. And this one is, that is going to be a 2-1 loss. Okay, Valverde scores. How do we lose to Young Boys? What are we, Manchester United? Okay, that makes me nervous for our Champions League campaign. Very nervous. Okay, Atletico Madrid, we're going to sim this because I want to play the El Clasico instead. This game is going to be, it's going to be a 2-2 draw. Okay, Vinicius and Ronaldo score. But we are unable to beat Atletico Madrid, a title uh, rival. Okay, since we just lost to Young Boys, we now face Leon in the group stage. I think we got to play this. We got to ensure this is a win. I am starting to very distrust the sim. But in the league, a two-point lead over Sociedad and Sevilla. So we're decently in first. Not a huge lead though. So Leon away from home. They got Timo Werner up top. Timo Werner always scores against me. I feel like this game is not going to be any different here. I mean, hey, after losing against Young Boys though, we cannot lose this game. This has got to be a win. So Real Madrid, Leon, Ronaldo, Benzema, see how they do. Also, if Afonso Davies can have a better game at left back, that'd be nice. Ronaldo to Benzema. Holland's already free. Holland. Lay it off to Valverde. Oh, this would be such a good start. Oh, it's going to be a good save, though. How do we not score that? That was such a clean, like, simple move. Okay, what a header to Holland. Holland into Benzema. Oh, Holland, that pass was so bad. Right, Alfonso Davies. Davies, I need to get tackle. Davies, Davies, Davies. Okay, I mean, that wasn't bad. All about stopping your man. And then you got Vardy all. Who just got destroyed? I think his career is over. Timo Werner almost just scored. Vardy all just got demolished by whoever that was. Oh, man, this is some dangerous... Dangerous attacking Courtois. Whoa, that shot was very bad. All right, Davies, that's better defending. I like to see that. Ball up to Holland. Holland to Valverde. Through to Vinicius. Decent pass. I see Ronaldo. Can we get the ball to him? It's going to be Holland. Holland, why are you this deep? It's so you can shoot a long ranger. Never mind. I apologize. Hey, Leona, no joke. They're actually a decent team. They're giving us a decent fight here, Vardial. Okay, we, I'm, I'm tracking everything. Maybe not everything. Maybe not absolutely everything. But Courtois makes the save. We draw points here. Our goal of winning every trophy is going to be in very big question. Come on, get the ball out. Davies, Davies, good clearance. You got the pace to win that. I think you do. I think you do. I think you do. No, you did not. That was terrible. We can't let him score here. This is so much defending. Why are we defending this much? We are Real Madrid. We are the Avengers. Oh, we're gonna, they're going to score. Nope, Courtois, another save. Can we get this ball out, please? Get the ball out, Courtois. Thank you. Davies to Ronaldo. Ronaldo into Holland. Holland. Oh, Holland can't control it. Davies, Davies, Davies. Afonso Davies. Oh, that's much better defending from you. Ronaldo to Holland. These, the front three got to play a bit better here. Benzema to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Benzema, get it to Vinicius. Oh, man. Almost a really good pass. Okay, I think Valverde's injured, but this game is uh, nil nil still. Could easily be 1 nil to Leon. And I hope Valverde runs off that injury. Vinicius into Holland. Holland, Holland. Holland. Okay, there's the strength I need to see. It's a little bit clumsy in game, but that was the strength I like. The pass, though, I do not like that. Oh, man. Tecatito. We are are struggling to mark them okay no one was even near him and he just ran the ball out himself now that is embarrassing yeah but Valverde's gonna come off the man is still feeling a little bit hurt Vinicius into Ronaldo Ronaldo shot by Ronaldo good shot good save by Lopez Davies wins that ball into Benzema Benzema all the way to Vinicius Vinicius to Ronaldo oh I should have just shot it was too much passing Davies has been our best defender in this game like he's played really good oh no they are they got are they finally gonna break the score line? No, they're not. Someone's gonna break it. I'm just not sure who. Holland over to Hakimi. Hakimi into Benzema. Whoa, that was supposed to go to Benzema. Almost an amazing pass to Ronaldo instead. All right, uh, Kemavinga on for Valverde, and then Saka's on for Vinicius. Now Saka has been amazing in his first episode at Real Madrid. Can he help us in this game? Rudiger, good challenge. Ball is sent in. Okay, no one even went for that. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to go for that, though. Courtois makes a solid save. Bro, Leona played so good in this game. Timo Werner has not scored yet, although I just jinxed it by saying that. We'll see how real the jinx actually is. What has happened there? That dude got by so quickly. Kemavinga, Kemavinga, get it, please. Oh, that's great defending. Ball out to Ronaldo. He doesn't have the pace, though, anymore. That's the issue. Kemavinga, we see Saka. The two substitutes, maybe. Up to... Oh, what a ball to Saka. What a ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots. Oh, man. Not a bad move. We got six minutes to find a goal, maybe. Oh, that's going to be too close to the keeper. I hate when that happens. Come on. The goal has got to be right here. Akimi, up to Holland. Saka's making a run. Saka. Beautiful. Saka into Ronaldo. Beautiful. Ronaldo's going to score that. Oh, that might be the winner. Saka doing it again. Saka's been so good. Finds Ronaldo in a good spot. Ronaldo scores, and that might be a win for Real Madrid. Saka has just been, like, so impressive. Gets the ball. Starts off the move, too, and finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo is not going to miss that. This has been a very close game, but we might escape with a win here. Kimi, great challenge. I think we are. Oh, no. 
Did I just jinx it by saying that? Oh, I just missed tackle with Kamavinga. Thankfully, the ref blows a whistle, saves me, and that's going to be a slim 1-0 win. Saka, Ronaldo combined to allow us to win the game. That was so close, though. Leon played, they just played so well. But back on track in the Champions League group stage. And also, Valverde is only up for five days, so that's not bad. He is going to miss our next game, though, which is, once again, the El Clasico versus Barcelona. Oh, wait, no, he's not. The man is a fast healer. He He's already healed. All right, Saka in for Vinicius. He's playing so well. He starts in his first El Clasico. And I think other than that, we go with the same exact lineup. A rematch of last year's Champions League final, which we won. I'm terrified of Rafinha, but yet again, another El Clasico. Come on, boys, keep this train going. We need to keep winning. Building momentum. We won all, all five trophies this season. There's five, right? La Liga, Champions League, Copa del Rey, uh, Super Copa, and then uh, Super Cup. I, I'm pretty sure that's five. Am I missing any? I don't even know. Also, I'm glad to see Davies playing much better. I was a little bit worried. Oh, what a pass by Holland. Into Ronaldo, Ronaldo. He's got a burst of pace here. It's early game. He's got all his stamina. Ronaldo. Oh, that was Holland right there with that little back heel to Benzema, I think. That was beautiful. 1-0 to Real Madrid. Another Sui. That, that Holland little touch was disgusting, actually. Ronaldo, he doesn't have much pace anymore, but he showed a little bit there, and that's a, it's a solid, low-driven shot finish. Now, let's just keep our foot on the gas. Vardial. Oh, Vardial read that pass so well. He has been so good since becoming a starter this season. Holland for Saka. Wait for him. Oh, man. That was almost a great ball. Hakimi. First time. First time ball to Saka. Beautiful. Holland. Holland. Oh, that could have been through to Saka. That move would have been so good. We just got so many good players in this team that are so, like, well-rounded. Too many into Holland. Holland. Oh, I'm going for a power shot. Erling Holland. That definitely was a power shot. One thing I didn't expect was uh, Saka to feel a little bit better than Vinicius in-game. Like, I think he might be a little bit better than him. Even though it's a rating difference of, like, five. Because if we're going off form, I think Saka's playing a bit better than uh, Vinicius. Valverde. Through to Holland. Holland. Wait for Saka. Wait for him. Great ball. Saka. Is he going to score when I said that? Oh, he shoots right at Ter Stegen. It was a good run, though, and a good ball by Holland. Benzema through to Saka. Saka. Finesse shot from Saka. Oh, man. He's just feeling himself right now. Fernand Torres up to Frank de Jong. Rudiger, another strong tackle, though. Davies making that run. Now whip it in. Whip in that cross. Let's go off the face of Kunde. I'm calling a goal here. I'm feeling it. I'm calling a goal. I'm calling it. Vardy, oh, oh, man. It was a good header. It just had no power on it. Oh, no. Good move, Savage. Patrick Schick shot, but Courtois makes a good save. That was a decent power shot from uh, from them. And the game is only 1-0, but it does feel like we're in uh, in control. But I guess not, because now Schick scores. And it's going to be 1-1 one, one at halftime. Un unfortunate for us. All right, second half, we'll decide the game now. Saka up to Holland. Holland and Saka got a little bit of uh, chemistry going along. That pass needs to be better, though. Because I saw that goal happening if the ball gets through. But on Torres, Akimi, Akimi. I, I trust Akimi here. He's got it. He's totally got it. Apparently, he fouled him, though. Who paid off the ref? Free kick in the box. Oh, that looks good. Courtois. Uh, shaky punch out, but we are going to get it out. All right, Saka, you got absolutely no support. No support. And he needed it very badly. Thankfully, Akimi so this time. Doesn't foul him. And now we can break. Holland. Great ball to Benzema. Benzema doesn't have the pace completely. Oh, I try to go to the left and play it to Ronaldo. That is a missed chance right there. Patrick Schick. Crossover to Rafinha, the player I'm terrified of. He's just so good dribbling wise. Oh, we should have got that. That ball should just should not have got through. But Linkovic Savage scores. Man, we were so close to putting a foot into that pass. I'm not wrong. We were so close to this. Pena, once again, I'm terrified of him. Oh, okay. Two players right next to each other. I should have I should have clogged the lane. Me not blocking the lane is why they scored there. And this is 2-1 to Barca. Game has flipped on its head. Saka to Akimi. Akimi. Can we find Saka? Nope. That's a good tackle. We got, we got 25 minutes here. Davies whipped that cross in Ronaldo. I believe he's offside. The cross doesn't even get to him, though. Okay, Holland has struggled. I'm going to bring on Endrick uh, at striker. Let's do that. Let's do Enzo Fernandez for uh, Valverde. And let's do, uh, no, let's do actually Vinicius for Benzema and move Saka to Cam. Let's try that. Big decision, but I'm, I'm feeling like we need some big change here to come back. And Barca is playing well all of a sudden. Second half has been there. Second half, and that's a good save, though. We stay alive for now. Oh, man, we got two minutes. I'm trying to be aggressive here. Okay, we might have a chance to get one goal if Vardial wins this. I'm going to go off the face of Fernand Torres. How many out of minutes? We got one minute. Oh, no. No, we gotta get this forward. I don't think we have time. I don't think we have time. Oh, we can't get it forward. It's already one over the minute. We're gonna lose to Barcelona in the first El Clasico of season three. The season where we're supposed to win every single trophy possible. Man, that the first half felt we felt so in control. They just found two goals and we couldn't score ours. Like that was uh that was a very weird game. All right, so now Leon again, this time at home. Uh, BSC Young Boys, three games, three wins. Wow, they beat Dortmund too. That, that is nuts. So we got to win this. It's at home. Leon, a team we just beat. This game is going to be 2-1 Benzema Ronaldo score. That was a must-win game. That was a very good win right there. All right, so now we face Dortmund next. I think we're already through, though. We're on nine points. 
points, uh, Leona on three. So there's like a 99% chance we, we've gone through to the knockout stage. It's just first or second, which is very, very important here. So Dormant Away is going to be 2-1 Benzema and Benzema. So now the final game is against BC Young Boys. That will decide who finishes first. Okay, I was just like simming through some games, right? Simming through some league games. And I just noticed something that is literally like series changing. Uh, Benzema is injured. I didn't get any message for it. And it's not just like a little injury. He's like torn his ACL and he's out for seven months. It like happened out of nowhere. That's seven months. That's like the rest of the season. Now he's got injured before, like in the last episode a little bit in the in the end of season two, but not like a torn ACL, a career, almost a career ender. He's 36 years old. I'm like shocked right now. Okay. So Benzema's basically done for the entire series. He's done. This is final season. Seven months is like what? July. He's literally done for the rest of this series. He's not going to be able to play. So like, what do we do now? I guess Saka isn't playing so well. He probably could be the next best up cam maybe. Oh man though. That is, that is like so huge. We literally don't have Benzema anymore. He's, he's done. So for now, Saka is a beer cam. And I guess Ronaldo, he gets Kev's arm, man. It's got to be Ronaldo. Um, Ketsu Kamala comes on the bench, but I do feel like I would like to sign a cam now, to be honest. I like Saka as a winger, as a back winger too. I would like to sign a new starting cam replacement for Benzema, but we only have 65 million to spend. Uh, this just got very interesting, but, um, we play BSC Young Boys. So we win, we finish first, we lose, we finish second. But yeah, this game is kind of important here. And also first game without, uh, our captain cutting Benzema. Now it's captain Ronaldo. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna have a pretty big effect on this, this final season three. All right, let's just win this game, focus on this one game, and then we will deal with the Benzema injury afterwards, maybe a replacement. I mean, if, if Saka's really good there, we don't need one, really. But I just feel like I would like a really good uh, cam midfielder with some good passing, though. All right, speaking about that, that was Saka's shot. Okay, that shot had nothing on it. Man, Ballon d'Or winner Benzema is literally done. I don't even know what happened. We got no message. It's so weird. I must have missed it or deleted it. We just look forward. I don't want to finish second, please. I don't want to finish second. Oh, it's good passing. Okay, BSC Young Boys score first. I actually thought we defended that pretty well. I feel like that shot kind of went through Hakimi. Like, that was a, it was a good pass. I thought we did well to track everyone, but found the last guy. Not tight enough. And it's 1-0. If this scoreline stands, we finish second, and we're going to get probably, like, Bayern or something in the round of 16, which is what we don't want. Oh, Holland has got taken out from behind now. Jeez. I'm a little scared for the health of my team. Rudiger, this is your spot, Rudiger. This is just your spot. Okay, that one was that one was more realistic, I think. Ronaldo, good ball to Saka. Saka, wait for Ronaldo. Wait for him, Saka. Okay, just go all the way. Get it back to Vinicius. Vinicius. Oh, man, I don't like any of these angles. Valverde into Ronaldo. Oh, that was a weird deflected shot. Almost scored, though. Corner in. That's decent. Not going to find anyone, though. And Keeper is going to unfortunately grab that. I mean, how much pressure is Raul under right now? I feel like he's actually playing good. Just uh, it's been a little bit unfortunate. The injuries into Ronaldo, though. The captain now with his team. That's probably the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. He's going to call that a pass, but CR7, that that was very bad. Domini into Ronaldo. Saka. Saka through to Holland. Okay, that's beautiful. Holland. Got to score that. Oh, he took an extra touch, but Vinicius gets the rebound. Thank you. Holland, I didn't want you to take that extra touch. I was just trying to set him up better. Thankfully, we don't get punished for it. Vinicius scores, and it's 1-1. We got to win this game. At least draw it. Because if we draw, we still finish first. We just can't lose to this team. I think they're from Switzerland, right? We can't lose to young boys. Good ball, though. Oh, man. Very good ball. Okay, we're trying to block that Kurtzwa near post save. It's fine. Okay, Vinicius wins that. I'm not sure how, but now he can get on his moped. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, we can't get it to Vinicius. He was going to be so in there. Vinicius, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rudiger. Rudiger. Good tackle. Holland to Saka. Wait for Akimi a little bit. Is that Akimi? No, it's Vinicius. This is Akimi, and Akimi's got Holland far post. Oh, what a cross. Holland. Is he onside? Oh, what a finish, but he's offside. What a cross and what a finish, though. And uh, that's going to be the final action of the first half. So we just can't lose this game, boys. If we do, I am finding every single player on the squad. All right, Vinicius, Vinicius, you got room to shoot. Vinicius, outside the boot. Oh, what a goal by Vinicius. Outside the boot from like maybe 20 yards out. That was disgusting. He's got a brace. He's had a slow start of the season, but this game he's playing really well. Oh, man, though, Holland gets to him. And then it's just outside the boot, probably like 25 yards out. Just lifts over the keeper. And that is 2-1 to Real Madrid. Man, uh, Raul, first managerial job taken over for Zidane. And he has this team playing very well. Ronaldo, why did he take so long to shoot that? Just like Holland. Oh, no. Decent chance for young boys. But Rudiger, man. Rudiger has been so good this year, too. Not many players that are playing, like, necessarily bad. Vinicius into Saka. What a ball, Saka. Oh, Ronaldo was so free there. Into Vinicius for his hat trick. Vinicius, it's going to be caught by the keeper. We feel in control. We felt in control of the Barcelona game. And we ended up losing that. So, Davies to Chumini into Holland. Holland. Okay, what was that turn? I don't even know. All right, Endrick. Let's do uh, Rodrigo for Saka. And let's do Enzo Fernandez for Valverde. Why not? Alba get a game. Why not? Tony Cruz, Rudiger. I'm feeling confident right now. Let's do that. Let's wrap up this game, boys. Ronaldo to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, first effort is going to be right at the keeper. I need to stop taking long shots. I can't help it. I'm just a long shot merchant. When they go in, it's so satisfying. Enzo, Ronaldo, 
Back heel to Rodrigo. Whoa, that had a lot of power on it. I think I put too much on it accidentally. Into Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Oh, Vinicius is so free there. Man, we are we are like messing up this third goal. We should have totally had it by now. Thankfully though, even if they score, we're still good. We just can't lose. Like honestly, they might score here. Nope. Uh, Vardy, oh, good, good interception. Now Endrick into Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets it over to Rodrigo, Rodrigo. To Endrick, Endrick, can you find Ronaldo? No, you cannot. I want this third. If we don't get it, I might be a little bit mad. Vinicius, Vinicius. Oh, they're just laying off him though. That's gotta be a little bit more higher. Thankfully, it won't matter. 2-1, man, we should have scored three or four. We just could not get past their defense in the end. Thankfully though, we finished first in the group, very important. We could still get unlucky and get a really good team, but we give ourselves the best chance of an easy route to the knockout stage. Or easy start, I should say. Okay, it is January 1st now. So league updates, Sevilla are still in first by one point. It's very close though. And Barcelona and Atletico Madrid uh, down in fifth and sixth. It's Villarreal and Sevilla as our title rival, which is a bit annoying, but Champions League obviously we finished uh, first in the group. So we might get a team like West Ham, Sporting, Leipzig. Uh, we could get Arsenal, that would be unfortunate. But other than that, Bayern Arsenal, I'm confident that we're not gonna get them. It's just what do we do about Benzema now? Saka, I feel like he'd be good there, but I want Saka to be a backup winger, maybe even start over Vinicius, I don't know. So I want to sign a new cam. Only 65 million. We have a Assembled a short list, but I think all of them are too expensive, actually. We got Kevin De Bruyne, Florian Verts, uh, Bruno Fernandez, Martin Odegaard, and also Kylian Mbappe. I mean, Mbappe, obviously, too expensive. Odegaard, 130, uh, too expensive. Um, Bruno Fernandez, uh, 65 million. He might actually be, uh, be a possibility. Florian Verts, 120, and then De Bruyne just joined Bayern, and also too expensive. So the only one here that looks realistic, also Foden, way too expensive. Uh, only one is Bruno Fernandez, which I mean, he's got 87 passing, shooting. He would be a great cam, I think. Kind of like exactly what I'm looking for, uh, instead of Sack at cam and also he really is perfectly in our price range maybe i think if i had my pick out of all these players i would either pick odegaard or de bruyne i think but they're just too expensive let's let's try bruno fernandez let's try him we might have to offer someone in a swap although i feel like we don't really have anyone to swap maybe peter that might be the one player we can offer uh jules john julian john too okay let's offer peter 5 million and then let's do like let's try 50. it's still gonna cut it close in the wage we're gonna try that though 50 million plus Peter for Bruno Fernandez. They're going to want just a 58.2. Okay. This, this might be doable, man. It's cutting it close, but are they going to accept that they are going to, they're going to accept that. Do we have enough for his wage though? And do we even want to sign Bruno Fernandez? I mean, he's definitely been linked to Real Madrid in the past, like a rumored, obviously not now because he's captain of Manchester United, but later on like, in his career, I can maybe see him going to Barcelona or Real Madrid or Manchester United, even in the champions league. Let's see. Um, were they in the champions league? Uh, no, they were not. So they're probably in the Europa league. Yeah. They're in the Europa league. So we could say, Hey, come play Champions League football for Real Madrid. Oh man, I think, I think we're going to do it. We got to sign someone to replace Benzema. We can't just not replace Benzema. He's done for the rest of the season. So an emergency signing, but it's also a very good signing. I think Bruno Fernandez, I feel like he's going to look right at home in that Real Madrid kit. If we can afford his wages though, is this going to work? It might actually work. You know, we could accept that. I don't want to mess around with it. We're accepting that. I think we're signing Bruno Fernandez. He's coming to Real Madrid and he's taking a huge, huge wage cut, but Raul has just signed Bruno Fernandez from Manchester United. United struggling down in the Europa League. Promises of Champions League glory for Bruno Fernandez has enticed the Portuguese international to rejoin Ronaldo again and also pretty much replace Benzema maybe for right now and also for the future of course too. I mean, can't lie. I'm not the only one that thinks Bruno looks like he's born to be in a Real Madrid kit for some reason. Like Barcelona kid, can't really see him, but Real Madrid kid, I can definitely see him in a Real Madrid shirt. And we're about to see that right now because Bruno Fernandez is signed up to Real Madrid. We have our new starting cam. Hopefully, hopefully he's going to be good. I mean, 55 million euros, we definitely got a good deal here, I think, which that is going to be, is going to be a B. That's an A. I disagree. So I think right there, that's our final final signing of this entire series. So uh, 10 is free. So why not give 10 to Bruno Fernandez? Can he fill Kareem Benzema's shoes? We are going to find that out. I mean, to be fair, he is higher rated than Benzema. So it is in theory, a, uh, an improvement. Um, now we got the Supercopa semis. We win this and we reach the final. We are facing Atletico Madrid though. This game is going to be, it's going to be 2-1 Holland and Holland score. Now we're in the final, a chance to win our second trophy of five this season. Because as we know, we want every single trophy. We're facing the team that beat us out for the title last year, Sevilla. And also Bruno Fernandez, first actual play game for us. Um, I think we start Saka on the right for Vinicius, but Bruno, so he plays with the Holland, Saka, and Ronaldo above him. Also, we almost got a whole back line of all 90 rated. We should win every single trophy. This is for trophy number two. All right, come on, boys. We gotta win this. Bruno Fernandez, welcome to Real Madrid. Reunited with Ronaldo. Ronaldo has lifted now two trophies for, for uh, Real Madrid. The Copa del Rey both times. If we win any now this season, Benzema's out, so Ronaldo is gonna hoist every single trophy. I would have liked De Bruyne, Someone different. All oh, Vardy, all oh, what was that? Literally, though, Bruno Fernandez, the only one in the price range, the one that worked. Holland, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. All oh, beautiful. Ronaldo finished shot. Ronaldo. Oh, man. I thought that was in. What a goal that would have been. Okay, Sack is injured. Bro, we're like 10 minutes into the game. I don't want to see that. Oh, no. We can't be having these injury issues right now. Holland to Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Oh, we got kind of caught up there. Getting nervous with all these uh, random injuries. Ronaldo. 
to Bruno Fernandez. First time shot from Bruno. I mean, not the greatest shot, but also not the worst I've ever seen. Oh man, Saka's still hurt, and they might score that first goal of the game. Nope, Courtois makes the save. Saka, please run it off. You've been so well. I need you to run it off. Oh man, good move. They're gonna shoot. Oh, what a okay, whoa, what a touch. I'm very surprised. I don't think I've ever done a La Liga crew mode where Sevilla have been so good. Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez, what about a Holland? Holland, Holland fights off a few. Holland, left footed shot. What a shot. What a save though. All right, Saka needs to come off. I am so upset. Hopefully it's like Valverde. Earlier in this episode, it was just a five-day injury, hopefully. Holland to Ronaldo. The ball is not going out yet. Oh, Ronaldo. Destroyed him. Ronaldo. Does it again. Okay, he just got taken out. No. Okay, he's fine. All right, Vinicius on for Bukayo Saka. Hopefully, it's not bad. Good ball. Oh, Jimenez. What? What a touch. We just got destroyed. That touch is one of the best I've seen from a team this season already. All right, Sevilla, the current La Liga champions, up 1-0. This touch. Oh, that just, it just destroyed me. Can't say anything about that. That was just amazing. All right, 1-0 and deservedly so. Oh, is that Bruno? Who just played that? I think that was our new signing, Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, get out of your own head. You're a good player, but he does whine a little bit. Be like, if he just plays confident, doesn't complain too much, he plays a lot better. That is what we are trying to instill in him at Real Madrid. Hey, that was pretty good. That, that's actually pretty good. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, fine Holland, Holland. Oh, I think that was to be offside too, or onside, I mean. All right, boys, our goal of winning every trophy possible this season could be ended right here in this game. We gotta try and make a comeback. Okay, Rudiger, great steal, Holland. Get to the Bruno, Bruno. We find Ronaldo, the Portuguese chemistry. Finds Ronaldo, Ronaldo, can you get to it? Yes, he can. Oh, that went off the keeper than the crossbar, I think. Okay, why is Holland taking the corners? I didn't realize that. Whoa, Holland, that's a bit too much, uh, bit too much power on that one. Bruno, making a good run there. Gets to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, please score that. Ronaldo scores that. This is 1-1. Okay. Bruno Fernandez assists Ronaldo. The Portuguese chemistry in this game is all tied up. I mean, that's what we need Bruno to do. Just drive the ball forward. Find the right pass. He finds it. Ronaldo. He scores again. All right, come on. We got to win this. We have to win this. Oh, man. Good ball. Whoa, Courtois. What a save. I think he was offside, though. And why are, why are Sevilla so good? Their players are, like, not even, like, amazing either. Bro, they're just giving us the work. They are giving us the work. That's going to be a shot. Courtois. Huge save, though. Kimi keeps it in. That is huge. Bruno Bruno. Counterattack. It's actually Valverde, not Bruno. Over to Bruno Fernandez now. Bruno. Through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, man. He made the worst run ever. If Ronaldo just runs to the left, Bruno could play that in. How do we mess up that chance? Holland. Two. Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez turns. Oh, oh man. Almost a great ball to Holland. I am nervous. Oh, man. What are Sevilla doing to me right now? What are Sevilla doing to me right now? What a move. Jimenez again scores. It's 2-1 to Sevilla. I'm like shocked at what I'm seeing. This ball over the top and then that little back heel. Oh, it's it's just dirty. Okay, I'm going major attacking here. Vinicius at cam. Uh, Bruno in the midfield. Let's do Alaba before Chumini. We got 12 minutes to tie this game once again. Rodrigo to Holland. Vinicius, I need you to down the middle. I need you to do something special here. Into Holland. Almost immediately. Oh, that just worked so well. What just happened there? How does that work so well? The Sevilla's defense were like just standing still. That was like a kickoff glitch where like the players don't wake up once you uh Holland has got free and he scores. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. We got eight minutes left at least. That rules out their last goal. Come on, boys. Keep composure. Vardy all. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna score again. Oh, they're gonna score again. We just can't defend them. 87th minute, Jimenez scores a hat trick. Sevilla just might be too good for us. They might just be too good. Now we got four minutes to tie this game once again. Can we do another kickoff glitch, please? Okay, Rodrigo. Vinicius, come on, boys. Boys, find it. Oh, Rodrigo. Oh, man, I could have played as a Vinicius. He was in there a little bit. Oh, no, Rudiger gets it. Okay, we have a chance here, maybe. Please, ref. No, please, ref. Don't blow the whistle. Bro, oh, Sevilla, they're just better than us. Simply put it, they are just, they are just better than us. Man, are we missing Benzema? Bruno played decent, though. I don't think he played bad. I don't think that's the reason. It's just our defense could not contain Jimenez. Dude, is a beast. So much winning all trophies. That is now uh, one out of two. Albeit, it's the most least important trophy, so we could still win Copa del Rey, Champions League, and La Liga and still be great. This one does infuriate me, though. Oh, man. Now, Bukayo Saka is out for three months with a broken toe. Bro, the drama this season is just sickening. So, now Saka is out. So, Quetzalcoatl comes up. And we are without two of our best players, literally. Now, Saka might come back for the end of the season. He probably will. Maybe, like, uh, March or April. But Benzema's done. And we're going to try to do it without him. Try to win all three trophies now. Oh, it just hurts my soul, though. And to make matters even better, Copa del Rey, uh, round of 32. We've been drawn Barcelona this early. Like, what is our luck right now? Our luck is non-existent right now right now. At the very least, we are sitting first in La Liga. But once again, Sevilla only two points behind us. I don't know what they're doing over at Sevilla, but whatever it is, it's working. And then Champions in round of 16. Now, I did say I thought we'd get an easier team, but uh, we have not. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight already starting round of 16. It's not going to be easy. All will be decided in the next episode. The series finale of the Real Madrid career mode. Raul has survived until now, but it's going to be tough to win all three trophies. Okay, this is the season three finale and also the series finale of our Real Madrid career mode. We're 
going to save Ronaldo can win a Champions League trophy in probably his final season. Now, there are some very big issues here, though. So Benzema is out for the rest of this season. He's out for five months. He just straight up will not return. And then new signing Buka Osaka is out for two months with a broken toe. And then I also just saw that Valverde is out for three weeks with a sprained ankle. So he might miss the round of 16 first leg, which we have been drawn an insanely, insanely tough team. But Kelp Del Rey round of 32 against Barcelona, maybe our last El Clasico. We are currently sitting first in La Liga two point lead over Sevilla. And then once again, round of 16, we have been drawn a team that is probably can win the Champions League. So our goal of winning every single trophy possible this season is going to be very, very tough. We're going to see if this, uh, this amazing squad can do it. So drop a like to that sub button down below. Also, if you've not, this series finale, we will find out if we can win every single trophy possible. Okay. Now that Saka is injured, you should try to use Rodrigo more often. Yeah, pretty much. Since Saka is going to be out for two months, we're going to need Rodrigo to really step up. Now he hasn't played much in season three. So now is his time to show us what he can do. Do you have any plans for Tyster 2? So yes, that channel is not like not done. That channel is like our walkthrough channel, basically everything uh, non FIFA football related. Like we played the Spider-Man game, we're playing the Batman game currently, which we are going to finish that. We're going to make a comeback on Tyster 2 pretty soon, I think. Hopefully like within the next week or two. Do the Credit Club crew mode next if so you haven't done one in ages. So once again, the plan is our Credit Club series, if it's not the next series, it will be the series after our next series, like 1000% guaranteed. Plus we're going to do votes for like which league we start in, like starting squad, a little star level, all that stuff will be a vote for all that stuff. Honestly, I have a team I want to do for our next series. And I think after that, our Credit Club series will be the next one. Right now, that's what I'm thinking. So tomorrow we should start a new series. So we will see, but be on the lookout for that, of course. All right. So since Benzema's out for the rest of the series, we decided to sign Bruno Fernandez from Manchester United. Now United were like in the Europa League, so they were struggling. Bruno wanted to try to win the Champions League with Ronaldo. He's been like decent so far, but he's got big shoes to fill in Ballon d'Or winner Benzema. And I think it's time to get started. We got a lot of games to get through in this episode. First one being round of 32, maybe the last El Clasico of the series. All right. So Saka, Benzema, Valverde all out. And then Rudiger has a red card for this game. So I think Tony Cruz, the next two Ramos starts and also Bruno's tired. So I think we're going to start Rodrigo at cam. Honestly, Vinicius has better passing. So I want to play him at cam. We're going to try that Rodrigo on the right. And once again, we want to win every trophy possible in this series finale. So we're going for the trouble. Also, Anthony plays for Barcelona. What kind of signing is that? All right. I believe last episode, Barcelona beat us like 2-0. Like we kind of got slapped a little bit. They got revenge for last season's Champions League final. So this one, we want to win the Copa del Rey. So this is very important to beat them. If we do beat them, we know we have a very good shot of winning it. Because of course, Barcelona are not going to be in it. Ronaldo, start us off with a goal. Ronaldo. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not a bad start. All right, let's be serious, Kimi. Get it over to. Okay, that's not serious. That's the opposite. Vardy all. Good tackle, though. Ronaldo. Holland. Holland into Rodrigo. Rodrigo in for Saka. It's going to be a good shot, but a good save, though. Vinicius cross in. That's beautiful. Holland's got that. Holland. I feel like he should be better on corners or like headers. Davies to Kamavinga. Davies continues his run. Davies in to Ronaldo. He's being, okay, hounded, but he hits the crossbar. That is so unfortunate. Honestly, not a bad start, though. Is someone injured? I swear I just saw an injury again. Oh, my. Rodrigo. Why are all my players getting injured? We even had injury problems in this whole entire series. But this season three, there's nothing but injury issues. Oh, Holland. Into Rodrigo. Rodrigo, can you still score? It's going to be Ter Stegen with the save. Hey, just saying, we are still in the January transfer window. So if we get a freak injury, maybe we can try and make an emergency signing. Is this somehow going to work? No, it's not. It's going to be slightly over the net. Hey, Rodrigo's fine. We avoid another injury for now. All right, Ferran Torres. Oh, Vardial, please get over. Vardial, oh, okay. We just got... What was the defense doing? Vardial was so slow to, like, mark that player where he just opened up all the space. Man, we hit the post, like, twice, I think. And then Barcelona score. It's so unfortunate. When the ball got here, I... see, Vardial is backing up. I need him to, like... Press him, like close down that space. All right, it was a good move. Defense fell asleep. It's 1-0 to Barcelona. I feel like we're actually missing Benzema so much. Obviously, Ronaldo Holland are the ones that score the most goals, but Benzema is so important to the team, and he's just literally gone. Good ball to Patrick Schick. I remember scored a brace against us, I believe. Tony Cruz, good tackle, though. Holland, good ball to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, can we find Holland again? Rodrigo. Okay, I didn't expect Shula to actually keep up with Rodrigo. Holland, great ball to Kemavinga down the middle. Kemavinga, can we find Ronaldo? Ronaldo finds the space. I think it's going to be blocked, though. Man, Kunde, that is just such good defending. And uh, that is the first half. We're down 1-0. Young. Okay, Davies, Davies. Solid defending. He just got taken out. Send him off. Send him off. It's going to be a yellow. Anthony deserves to be sent off after that. Kimi up to Holland. Holland. We find Ronaldo. Holland finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Can he find? Oh, beautiful. Vinicius. Oh, what a beautiful move. That's 1-1. The pass by Holland and then Ronaldo was just disgusting. We lost out in the Supercopa, which I didn't like. But the treble is still alive, uh, and I want to win it. Well, Barcelona are pressing a lot. All of a sudden, Ronaldo is in. Ronaldo. CR7. Left-footed shot. And that's going to be 2-1 just like that. That is how fast the game can turn around when you got players like Ronaldo and also Erling Holland in the same team together. Barcelona also, like, pressured like crazy for some reason. I don't know. Like, look at all the numbers they sent forward. And Ronaldo finds the space. Left-footed shot. He has been, like, the marquee man of the series, although it wasn't really planned that way. 2-1. We need to keep our foot on the gas, though. Young into Longley. Why is Longley so forward here? There's an odd thing to see if you ask me. Okay, good move. Good move. Good move. Oh, what a move. 
Did Longley just score? I think Longley just scored. Oh my. Longley comes forward and he somehow scores? Honestly, it was honestly a good move, but like out of all players, they find Longley and he's the one that... Okay, Kurtzwald, that's a save he usually makes. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. It's 2-2. Oh, man. We are missing Rudiger and Valverde a lot, I think. Also, Saka, we're missing everyone that's out in this game. Vinicius, great ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, give it back to Vinicius. Beautiful Vinicius. Vinicius could have played the pass and probably should have. Corner sent in by Vinicius. That's good. Chumini. Chumini gets to it. Oh, it's going to be right at Ter Stegen, though. Okay, that's a good cross in. Kurtzwald came all the way out for that, though. I mean, I don't mind it. We got nine minutes, and we got space here. Chumini. Oh, Chumini. Two. Ronaldo, we find Holland. Okay, find him. Oh, we found him. Somehow we found him, and Holland's gonna score. That might be the game. I had zero confidence that Ronaldo pass was gonna get through there, but it did. Man, defense to offense, which is so quick. And Ronaldo gets the pass through Holland. He's not gonna miss that. At least I don't think he is. All right, bringing on Ketzel Kamalo, the South African Lionel Messi. We got Endrick on, and also Enzo Fernandez. All right, six minutes. Just don't concede another goal, please. That's that's all we gotta do. I feel like if we beat Barcelona here, it pretty much guarantees us into the final. Now, that is a great kick. Endrick can't get to it though. Uh, he, he got an A for effort though, at least. Oh no, I don't like when they come forward like this. Vardy all saves me a little bit. Actually, Actually saves me a lot. Two minutes out and on Endrick. Fine. Oh, Endrick. That might be the worst pass I've ever seen in my life. How do we not get? Oh, no. If they score from it, I'm going to be so mad. Anthony, Anthony. Oh, that move was disgusting. Stop it, please. Stop it, please. No, they're not going to score. Oh, Courtois makes the save. I was about to release Endrick if that actually allowed us to lose this lead. I can barely speak. We are three minutes over at a time. Corner in. Endrick. No, no, no. They actually scored. I can't believe it. It's five minutes over at a time and they're going to score from a corner because I think Endrick was at the near post. Why is like the shortest man in our, in our lineup at the near post? Oh, I can't believe it. This is going to extra time. I am absolutely sick, man. If we don't win this now, I'm going to be so mad at Endrick. Endrick, wait, wait, wait. Up to Ronaldo. He's one of these like, he's one of these little tiny chances. Oh, Ronaldo chips are staying in and it's 4-3. Okay, Ronaldo just saved Endrick's life, I think. At least his Madrid career. But Ronaldo, this little chip is just beautiful. Oh, it's it's disgusting. All right, all we gotta do is not concede another. Endrick, can you score one? Okay, that, is that handball? And I wish it was handball. I feel like I need to bring on Alibo for probably Cruz because I feel like I just need more defensive experience in this spot. Cruz misses a tackle. Oh, no. Long shot. Courtois makes the save. Man, if this is the last of Clasico of the series, it's, it's a very good one. It's 4-3 extra time. We got 15 more minutes to hold this lead. Alaba on four. Tony Cruz makes a tackle, but I think it was a foul before that. Yeah. Not confident in our defense to hold this lead. That's awkward, but it, we are going to get it out. Enzo Fernandez. Get it over to Akimi. Get it back to Enzo. That was so weird, but it works. All right, Enzo, can you pick out the cross? Enzo. Okay, I mean, not a bad cross, but it's at absolutely no one. Five minutes. Just keep pressure on Ketsu Kamalo into Endrick. Through to Ronaldo. We got someone free. Oh, Ronaldo is not going to be Kunde though. Alaba, please need to get this. Alaba, Alaba. Oh, Danny Omo beats Alaba. Beats him. Oh, almost a penalty. He's almost pushed him. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's not happening. I'm not going to allow it to happen. Akimi, get it out. We do get it out. Is that it? Thank you. We actually beat Barcelona. That took so much effort. And it's only the round of 32. If it is the last of Clasico, though, we do get the better of Barcelona. So, I mean, that's that. This should mean we can make it to at least like the semis or final with the Copa del Rey easily now. All right. So, transfer to Lende. We got 5 million to spend. So, yeah, we are done with transfers for this series. Bruno Fernandez remains the final transfer of this entire series. Okay. It is time for the Champions League round of 16. So, we finished uh, first in the group, which means we should have had an easier opponent, but that is, that is not the case. Round of 16 it is Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid. I mean, Bayern and Arsenal were the two teams that finished second we could have got that I was afraid of. And we got probably the team that I'm most afraid of in Bayern Munich. Like the worst possible option we could have got. But if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. So it starts in the round of 16. They got De Bruyne, Kimmich, Mane, Tammy Abraham. This one is going to be interesting. First leg is going to be First leg is actually 2-0 though. Holland and Holland. I will absolutely take that. We have another injury. Chumini is now out for three weeks. I don't think I've ever had this many injuries and our injury sliders are the same we've had them for like the last three series. Our luck right now is just insanely bad. So I think Alaba has to start for now. Chumini, maybe on the bench because I think he might be okay to play, just not like fully start. We are just having so much injury uh, misfortune. But okay, 2-0 up on Bayern Munich. We're going to play the second leg, but I think we're going to play the highlights because I think we could get this done pretty easily. Like 2-0 lead, coming back at the Bayou. I'm confident here we can take down Bayern Munich. That first leg was just a very, uh, very fortunate result for us. Okay, Ronaldo, are you shooting this? You know what? We might actually shoot this with Ronaldo. Ronaldo, what do you got? It's a very weird angle. Ronaldo from the free kick spot. Oh, he hit the crossbar. That is, that is not bad. Vardy up to Holland. Find the space. Oh, stay on side. Vinicius on side still. Oh, we can't find the pass. And he wasn't even on side anyways. Okay, penalty for Real Madrid. This is what I'm talking about. Now, Holland, I'm sorry. This one is Mr. Champions League. Cristiano Ronaldo. We're going right. Oh, Neuer makes the save. What? Okay, 70th minute. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, all players, he is on a solo run. Over to Valverde, though. Valverde. 
We get a cross in. Cross in. Okay, I wanted someone to be there. But no one was even close to that spot. Okay, Bayern are running out of time, though. We have messed up now. Two chances in this game. That should be easy. Four. Rudiger. It is very easy. Okay, that's it. Bayern did not put up much of a fight in this one. We missed two chances we should have scored, but we take down Bayern. Now on to the Champions League quarterfinals. Okay, I think Saka is close to me back from his injury, which is good. But now it is time for the Champions League quarterfinals. So we got a very tough team, round 16 in Bayern Munich. Quarterfinals, we've been pretty lucky here. I say we got RB Leipzig. Now, actually, looking at these quarterfinals, like, look at the teams. Atletico Madrid, Juve, Roma, Sporting, Real Madrid, Leipzig, and Wolfsburg, uh, West Ham. This might be, like, the weakest lineup quarterfinals I've ever seen in my life. Like, I would say us, and then Atletico Madrid, Juventus the favorites and they're gonna knock each other out or at least one of them out we're in a good spot to win a champions league this year just because of the lineups now leipzig though in season one gave us a lot of issues they're they're a solid team first leg is gonna be it's gonna be one one okay so second leg in germany we'll decide who reaches the champions league semis and wonderfully saka is back from his injury so we got saka back and also rest team is fully fit uh no further new injuries so i would say win this and we have a very good chance of winning the champions league we become like the heavy heavy favorites come on leipzig our team that gave us a lot of issues but they're also a team we should beat i think if we play as good as we can, we definitely will beat them. That is just uh, the main question. Are we going to play as good as we can? Bruno. So Holland. Bruno hasn't played that, that last game into Ronaldo, though. Ronaldo in two. Bruno. Fernandez. Oh, almost a great start. We got too close to the keeper, though. Jumini. Long shot. Okay, I thought the keeper was out. He was not out. Oh, such a good chance, though, to start the game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Long shot. Courtois, good save. Like, every time we faced Leipzig earlier. I think it was season two. We beat them, I think. But it still feels like when we face them, they just give us issues. That's going to be a rough challenge, though. That's going to be an early yellow. Valverde into Bruno. Into Holland. Holland. Early first time shot. Good shot, though. Corner swung in. Holland. I need you to win one of these. Holland. Win. Thank you. I just called for it and Holland scores. You ask, you shall receive, I guess. Okay. Beautiful start. 2-1 to Real Madrid. Vinicius, great corner. And then Holland. It's perfect for him. He actually climbs for once and he scores. He should be doing this more often, but there it is. Keep the momentum up. Vardy all. Okay. This is actually a decent chance. Actually, Vinicius in to Bruno. Two, Ronaldo. Oh, low driven shot. I aimed right at the defender. The one place you're not supposed to aim at, I aimed at. Vinicius, Holland, to Bruno. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Okay, hold, hold it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay, Holland just blocked the shot, I think. I didn't know what to do there. I was a little bit uh, confused. Too many. Into Bruno. Good ball to Holland. I feel like Bruno is combining pretty well with uh, the front three right now. Valverde. Over to Vinicius. Vinicius, come on, find the pass. Holland. Two, Ronaldo. It's good defending by Timber, though. Bruno Fernandez. We got Ronaldo. We got Ronaldo. Oh, it's another shot that's blocked, though. They're blocking all the shots. Varane is playing for Leipzig. I didn't even see that. Corner in, though. Okay, Holland again. Holland. Holland again. Okay, that was, a very, that was a very bad header right there. All right, Davies gets that out. That's going to be the first half. I would like this lead to be bigger, but it's it's still 2-1. Valverde, what a steal. Players need to run, though. Oh, great ball to Oh, Valverde. What a pass to Holland. Holland. We find Ronaldo. That is not Ronaldo. It's Bruno, but it's going to be a bad header. I was aiming at Ronaldo. I don't understand that. All right, they're starting to pressure a little bit, which means we have a chance to kill this game off. Ronaldo, find the space. Cuts inside. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, that's finesse shot range, Ronaldo. Good save by Simon. All right, Rudiger and Ozzyman. Oh, Ozzyman can't get past Rudiger. Holland through to Davies, get it back to Holland. We got Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Oh, okay, what a good ball. Somehow that didn't get through though. All right, 20 minutes left, but no subs yet. Oh no, Ozzyman against Rudiger again. Rudiger, Rudiger is standing tall though. Okay, we just missed the tackle. I shouldn't have went for. Oh, then we can't block the pass and Rafa scores. Bro, on these sliders, you make one little mistake and they score. It feels like every single time. All right, this is tied up. We do get punished for not extending our lead, though. That's the main point. Oh, I thought I, I thought I would just take him out there. We just missed it, though. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Our Champions League uh, hopes are definitely in question here now. I'm thinking Saka for Vinicius, maybe. Vinicius, you're soft, you're soft side. Bruno. Bruno to Ronaldo. The Portuguese connection. Ronaldo, that's a foul, right? Wait, you're telling me that's not a foul? He just, like, kicked at him. Give me. Come on, we gotta find this goal. I can't let this just stay like this. Holland, find Ronaldo, find Ronaldo, find Ronaldo. They're defending him so well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is very awkward. Vinicius makes a great steal. Ronaldo to Bruno. Bruno. Okay, at least we keep it. Akimi, Akimi. Oh, whoa, what is this? Valverde to Vinicius. Oh, it's so awkward. The ball is just bouncing everywhere. We got one minute. We got one chance here, though. Holland. Get it to Ronaldo. 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 Into Holland. Holland. Oh, I saw Vinicius. That was in a work. Oh, we're going to extra time. Another extra time game. Okay, we're doing Saka for Vinicius. Hasn't played in a while. We're doing that, though. I think that'll be the first and only change as of now. Bro, we can't lose this. I cannot lose to Leipzig in the Champions League quarterfinals. I don't want penalties. I want to win this in regular time. Too many. Into Holland. Holland. Oh, we can't get the ball past this Leipzig back line right now. Bruno. Over to Ronaldo. I see Saka. 
Oh, up to Holland. Oh, man, that's not a bad idea. Just the, the cross is not what we wanted. Okay, very quiet first half extra time. We got 15 more minutes. Okay, I think uh, Ronaldo up top for Holland. Holland's just too tired. We're going to do Rodrigo on the left wing. And let's do... Uh, let's actually do Endrick for on the right and put Saka at Cam. Let's do that. Come on, boys. 15 more minutes. I need a score goal here. I'm not... I don't want to leave this up to penalties. Give me into Ronaldo. Oh, man. I wanted to play that back to Saka. I did not mean to do that. Oh, no. I see the pass. Oh, no. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, Leipzig has scored. Lewis Sinistera scores. Oh, our Champions League campaign might be over. Oh, man. Leipzig, they've just defended well and they found their chances. Okay, we got to relax. We're skipping that. We still got time. We got nine minutes. Oh, this just hurts so badly if we lose this. Hendrik, Ronaldo. I need a little give and go here. Hendrik. Through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Through to Rodrigo. Oh, Rodrigo shot. Oh, my Lord. That's a 3-3 scoreline again. Oh, the relief. Rodrigo is 3-3. Thank you. We're still in this. Andrew Ronaldo, a little give and go. Ronaldo finds Rodrigo just on. And Rodrigo, a very important goal, that is. We got five more minutes. This might be going to penalties. Davies, Davies. Oh, Davies, we've got to steal that. Come on. Vardy all, please. Vardy all, thank you. Rodrigo through to Saka. Saka through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo doesn't have the stamina. Hendrick to Valverde. Oh, please. Oh, no. I meant to go to the left. Oh, we're going to penalties. I hate this. I meant to go to the left, not backwards, but okay. We at least give ourselves a chance in a penalty shootout here. Bro, 13 shots to three. Oh, just, it just makes me sick. All right, first up, Victor. Osman, he's going to go. He's going to go left, and it's 1-0 to Leipzig. Ronaldo missed a penalty recently. We're going to go top right, top right. Whoa, the keeper moved so early. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, they're going to go. He's going to go right. Courtois, what a save. Rodrigo, we're going to go top right again. Top right, please scores come on boys come on boys he's gonna go he's gonna go left oh he goes right down the middle saka please top right again top right again yes come on we can't lose this that's why i need you to make one more save maybe one more save he's gonna go left though Bonzo davies we're getting into the uh the not so good penalty shooters i did not go down the middle i meant that to go right Courtois, what a save though what a save score this and we make it to the semis please please we need to score this top right top right Oh, it's going to be saved. No. Boys, come on. Boys, right. Courtois saves it. Okay, another chance. Who is it? It's Vardial. Bro, please score this Vardial. We're going bottom right. Bottom right. Thank you. Oh, I can't believe it was this close to being us in Leipzig. I can't believe it. Vardial is the hero, though. We survived. Oh, my heart. It's only the quarterfinals. My heart can't take this. Thank you, Vardial. Also, thank you, Courtois. He made some very big saves there. And also, Rodrigo scoring that third goal. Our Champions League hopes stay alive. Oh, man. I'm so happy we didn't lose that. Okay, so we stay alive. Uh, next game is the Copa del Rey final again against Mallorca. This is the same final as last year. Like, how are Mallorca getting into the final this often? But Champions League. Now into the semis, and we have been drawn Wolfsburg. So, it's, it's maybe setting up an Atletico Madrid final if we get past Wolfsburg. I mean, they're probably a decent team, but also a team we're probably the heavy favorites in. All right, so three trophies on the line. First one is Copa del Rey, and then, of course, the Liga and the Champions League, but this will be to secure part one of the treble. Now, if I remember right, last season we faced Mallorca, and we beat them kind of easily in the Copa del Rey. I thought it was, like, the easiest final I think I've played in a long time, so we'll see if it's the same in this one. I don't know how they've made it this years in a row. Like, Mallorca aren't even that good. Did I? Did I just jinx it, though? And then we got Wolfsburg after this, which... Hopefully, we can reach the final of the Champions League. And then La Liga will get an update very soon. It's still us in Sevilla. Like, we're still the two teams that are in the title race. Okay, Mallorca are pressuring, like, a bunch of psychopaths. Okay, Vinicius, that's not, my, that's not the pass I wanted. Bruno, steals it back. Bruno's been, he hasn't been amazing, but he's been solid, I think. Once again, it's hard to replace a Ballon d'Or winner, but I think he's done a decent job. Holland, through to Ronaldo. Vinicius, he just got assaulted. How is that not a foul? Kimi, ball to Bruno. Bruno, Bruno. This is your spot, maybe. Okay, he took that so weird. I felt so confident he was going to score that. Okay, good ball. Mallorca, just, there's something sneaky about them. Why are they here? How did they get here? Who are their players? I don't even know. Hey, bro, they're dangerous. I'm sensing it. They're they're dangerous. Okay, this dude is torching me, but Davies, I don't know why he's so far on this side, but I mean, it's good positioning at least. Bruno Fernandez to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, hold it up. Beautiful. Now, work it back around Bruno. Again, into Ronaldo. Oh, the play is beautiful. Ronaldo. Cuts inside. Ronaldo, got to score that. Oh, that's classic CR7 right there. The Portuguese connection, and it's 1-0 to Real Madrid. Bruno finds Cristiano, and then a little fake shot. Opens up the space, and it's it's a goal. Okay, good ball. What is this space? Vardy all, Vardy all, Vardy all. Very good defending, though. Valverde, good ball to Vinicius. Vinicius, I see Holland. Oh, Vinicius, what a ball to Holland. Can we find Ronaldo? Holland to Ronaldo. Oh, that's 2-0. It is just beautiful play between Vinicius, Holland, and Ronaldo again. Okay, we're playing a bit better now. A little bit more commanding, although it is just Mallorca. Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo's in a hat trick, but Bruno, chance to shoot one. Oh, Bruno off the crossbar. What a shot. How many times do we have the crossbar in this uh, series finale? I feel like we've hit it so often. Holland to Bruno, the Manchester. Formerly rivals. Okay, that's a good pass, but Holland's offside. It looks good, but it's offside. Bruno to Holland. I'm liking this play right now. We're playing pretty smooth. 
Ronaldo to Holland. Holland, great touch. Holland. Oh, to Vinicius. Then Ronaldo for his hat trick. Oh, it's be it's beautiful. How did Ronaldo just hit the post there? I am going to cry. That would have been such a beautiful way to get the hat trick. I think Vinicius played the pass a little bit too far in front of Ronaldo. All right, Davies. That is the speed and defending I like to see. Vardy all. There's the calmness I like to see. Bruno Fernandez. Oh, Bruno. What a ball to Holland. Holland. Goes the inside of the fender. Whoa, that dude defended that so well. Not many players can stop Holland. I guess he's one of them. All right, good move. They score here. This is going to turn into a game with uh, 20 minutes left. But Rudiger, that's going to be a good tackle. And we do get the ball out. Holland to Ronaldo. Ronaldo wants his hat trick. He wants it. He's almost 40 years old, but he is going to get his hat trick in yet another cup final. It is just prime noodle CR7. I mean, Ronaldo has just shown how important he is to this team in this series. Like, even without Benzema, oh, Chiumini, he just assaulted that man, Ronaldo. Maybe for a fourth. Endrick? Endrick's had a very shaky season finale, series finale. Like, what was that pass? Started playing it to Ronaldo. That was not to Ronaldo. Right, we get a chance for maybe one more goal. Ronaldo. Ronaldo finds Endrick. Can he make up for it? Endrick is going to score. Make it 4 0. Copa del Rey champions once again. Ronaldo hat trick and then a goal from uh, the Brazilian Wonder Kid. And that is trophy number one of three, at least major trophies this season. I feel like this game pretty much went as we expected. Mallorca, I don't know how they got here, but once again, we also destroyed them. Ronaldo once again gets to lift the uh, Copa del Rey trophy. So one of three secured. We got Wolfsburg for Champions League and then trying to beat Sevilla for La Liga. We still got a lot to get through in this series finale. All right, so Wolfsburg, they got uh, Jesus, they got Baku, Torreira. I mean, I'm not really seeing a, an, an insane team, though. I feel like we got this. First leg is going to be, it's going to be 3-1. Bruno, Hakimi, and Holland. Oh, man, 3-1. I kind of want to sim the second leg. I feel like we're secured enough, but we might have to actually play it. I mean, we're just a much better team than Wolfsburg, and this is like one of the weakest Champions League lineups I've seen in a long time. So we're going to play the highlights of the second leg and hopefully put Wolfsburg to bed and book our ticket to the Champions League final for the second year in a row. Now, I think we'll be good as long as we don't get like any unlucky penalties for Wolfsburg. All right, first chance. We know Rudiger has scored a couple of these. Can he do it again in a Champions League? Yep. Okay, no, he can't. Actually, though. Oh, chance. Ronaldo into Holland. Holland. Okay, that's too much passing. I should have just shot. That is a failure, although chance is surprisingly still alive here. Still alive. Still alive. Ronaldo's they're not, he's not going to score. I expected Ronaldo to score there. All right, 37 minutes. Still the same scoreline. Chumini. We find Vinicius. Good ball. Now, Vinicius. I see Ronaldo far post. I see him. Can we find him? Yes, we can. Ronaldo far post. What? What was the chest touch? Why would Ronaldo do that? Okay, let's try this again. Vinicius into Holland. Holland find Ronaldo. Find him. Okay, we're just we're just messing up chances left to right now. Thankfully, still 3-1. Just score from this corner, please. Good corner. Holland gets to it. No, he does not. Tony Cruz. I was going to shoot that, but then I decided not to. Okay, wait. That was the last chance. That was that last chance, like, in the 38th minute. I guess this game was completely quiet. But okay, we beat Wolfsburg. Champions League final ticket is booked. They didn't really put up uh, much of a challenge at all. And it might be a Madrid Derby Champions League final. Okay, so now we just got La Liga Champions League left. So update on La Liga. We're sitting in second place behind Sevilla now. Four points behind them. So same situation, Sevilla in first. We got to try and catch them. Now we play them next though. Our next game is against Sevilla. So win this game and we could put ourselves in a good spot to catch them actually. Because last year we missed out on the title off a goal they scored that didn't even matter at the end of the game. Like get a head-to-head -head advantage. It just hurts so bad. So win this. They're still in first, but only a one-point lead. Like I said, we're going for every trophy. This is for the second trophy, maybe. Ronaldo climbs for it. Cannot climb all the way, though. Like, I expect the Barcelona, Let it go Madrid to challenge us in this series. But no, it's it's been Sevilla. That's like a first for a La Liga crew mode for me. Holland to Valverde. Up to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, Bruno. Wait for a pass, maybe. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, man. Okay, we tried playing like the impossible pass to Ronaldo. If you remember, Jimenez, their striker, scored a hatcher against us. Uh, Pretty sure recently. That was the Super Cup final, right? I think it was. So I'm a little bit scared of him. I think he's playing. I don't really look, but... Okay, that's Thomas Delaney. Locatelli. They almost just scored, although that was offside. Ronaldo gets it over to Davies. Come on, boys. You got to win this game. We lose this. That's pretty much the title. Ronaldo in to Bruno. Bruno turns. Oh, Bruno Fernandez. What a hit. That is what we're looking for for the new signing. I mean, this is what Bruno does best. Gets the ball. Good spot. Finesse shot. It's beautiful. It's also 1-0 to Real Madrid. Alverde to Vinicius. Get it to Holland. Holland can't get it to Mr. I think uh, Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez and Holland are a decent duo in this team. Oh, Vinicius. That's a bad ball by me, though. Tackle by Vardy. Oh, Vardy. Oh, what a tackle. Come on, boys. Okay. Yanezai. Bro, Sevilla are just playing. They're playing with so much confidence against us. We are the Avengers, the Galacticos. Bruno Fernandez. 
Okay, what is that shot? I can't believe what I've just seen. Like, I put so much power on that, but I don't even know what it was. We got to extend this lead. I don't like just a one goal lead against Sevilla. Vinicius. Okay, is that my fault? I'm not sure. I kind of feel like that's Vinicius. I'm not sure I'm going to take the blame for that pass. All right, second half begins once again. I want to extend this lead because one goal leads against Sevilla are not something I like. And also, I forgot, did we beat them earlier in the season? I don't know. I don't even know, actually. Because that the, the title race is so close, it could be just like last year where head to head like matters. So the more goals we score, the better. Bruno into Holland. Holland needs more support, though. Holland to Bruno. Bruno to Vinicius. Oh, it's beautiful by Bruno Fernandez. 2-0. We got to try to score as many goals as we can here. 50 second minute, 2-0 to Real Madrid. All right, this could be a counterattack off a very bad free kick. Holland, we got space. Holland to Vinicius. Vinicius, Vinicius. Oh, he takes. He can't keep control of it, though. Oh, man, that was a dangerous pass. Come on, boys. Long shot. That's easy for Courtois. Bruno Fernandez doing a great job leading the attack. As soon as I say that, we run into a defender. The jinx is so real. Rudiger, good interception, though. Come on, I don't want to concede any goals here. A one goal. We know how big one goal can be. Courtois, good save. On 15 minutes, I like our lead, but I kind of want to score a few more and also not concede any. Yanezai, Yanezai, stop that, please. Jimenez, the player I'm scared of. Rudiger steals it from him, though. Ronaldo, Vinicius, we got space. Holland, you're so offside. Now you're not. Holland, Holland. Oh, man, they just caught. Look, Atelli caught up so well there. Bruno to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, hold it up. Vinicius, can we find Holland now? Holland, Vinicius. Oh, we just can't find this third goal. I don't think we're going to get a third. Just can we keep them at 2-0? Uh, Come on, this defending. We can't let them score here. This happened last year. They scored a goal like this, and it won them the title. Akimi, good defending. Okay, get it out. Okay, we did our job at least. We beat Sevilla, so we're now only one point behind them. We still need them to drop points, but we're in a much better spot with, I think, three games left now. All right, so three games left. We got Espanyol, Barcelona, and then Cadiz. We still need Sevilla to drop points, though. So game number one, Espanyol is going to be a slight 2-1 win. Akimi and Holland. Okay, I, I'm praying Sevilla drop points here. If we see who's in first, it's going to be... Oh, Sevilla won their game. Okay, two games left. Two games left. We got Barcelona next. Who does Sevilla play? Sevilla play Osasuna, and then on the final day, Sevilla face Espanyol. And so on head-to-head, -head, we beat them, what, 2-0? Okay, we also beat them 4-1 in December. So we got head-to-head. -head. As long as we tie, we would win the title. Man, this El Clasico is so big. We're going to play the highlights of uh, this final El Clasico now. We know for sure. We just got to hope Sevilla drop points, bro. And of course, Barcelona here are going to try and end our title hopes. I do not want to let that happen. We'll see. I don't know why the field is so dark. I feel like this might be a little bit glitched, or is it just the sun? We got a corner, though. 14th minute. Okay, that's a great corner. Great corner, Ronaldo. Oh, it's going to... Was that, was that actually Vardial? I don't even know, but it was a decent. Right, same exact chance, actually, like deja vu. Holland, Holland can't get it. Oh, it's going to be cleared. Okay, 37th minute. Rafinha, a player that I'm terrified of, is making a good run. Vardial just destroyed him, though. Another run by Rafinha, which I don't like to see. I'm terrified of this man. Into him, into him, but Vardial again. He's the Rafinha stopper. At 40th minute, we're getting a lot of uh, chances right here. Bruno Fernandez leading the counter up to CR7. Ronaldo, do you have the legs? I think he does. Final El Clasico, maybe for Ronaldo, and he's going to score in his final El Clasico, and it's 1-0 to Real Madrid. We got to win this. We can't lose this. If we lose it, we're done, basically. Corner sent in. Just keep defending strongly. Valverde, great clearance. Bruno, another good clearance. 88th minute, Barcelona counterattack. Oh, man, this is the game right here. This might be the game. Final chance, long lay over the top. Davies has that. Oh, it's going to be 1-0, I think. It's going to be a slim 1-0 win. Okay, we get the job done. We face Cadiz final day. Have Sevilla drop points, though. Because if they don't, they win the title. Oh, let's see. So standings. Oh, oh, Sevilla are still in first. So final day, they face uh, Espanyol. We face Cadiz. We just got to try and win and hope they drop points or they draw. Once again, for the second season in a row, though, it goes down to the final day. So before we play the Champions League final, we got to settle La Liga first. Come on, boys. We got to win this once again. I feel like last year, was it Cadiz as well? Or no, it was Villarreal, I think, last year was our last game. Once again, we got to give ourselves a chance at least by winning this and just hoping Sevilla drop points. This is going to be quite a long series finale, but usually... We like him like that. Davies. Davies. Good interception. Holland. Holland. Okay, he just dribbled into trouble there, but it was a foul, rightfully so. We actually get a call for once. Vardy all. Vardy all from distance. Another center back. Oh, man. Our center backs just had like the long shot gene. Holland. Holland. Up to Ronaldo. Beautiful. Ronaldo. Good first touch. Good first touch. Ronaldo is just the marquee man of this series, and it's 1-0. If we do all this for Sevilla to just win, I'm going to be so sad. Come on. Final La Liga game of the series. I want them to drop points, and I want us to win the title in dramatic fashion. Oh, Bruno. What a steal. Whoa. Cadiz. It's not starting this game off well. Ronaldo. He's starting off well. Into Holland. Oh, okay. What is this? Chumini, please score that. Chumini. Oh, it's just completely ruined. It's like one of the worst decisions I made of the episode. We passed it to Holland and he like didn't like take a touch to control it. Okay, Cadiz, don't do this to me. Don't do it. Rudiger, he has been so solid in season three. Holland to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, what a ball to Vinicius. He's on side. Vinicius, please. Vinicius, please. Vinicius is going to miss. That was such a good ball by Ronaldo. What a ball. 
What a pass. What an attempted finish. Valverde to Holland. Holland drag the defender. Drag him. Then through to Vinicius. Vinicius cuts inside. Not going to miss. Not going to miss two chances in the road that are the same thing. Hey, Vinicius is having a very good series finale, and that's 2 0. Keep it up, Bruno. Bruno into Holland. Keep this up, Holland. Back to Bruno. Bruno. Oh, that's going to be 3 0. Okay. Execution right there was almost perfect, but it was good enough for Bruno Fernandez. Okay. We're getting the job done. I just hope, uh, I hope Espanol are getting the job done for us. Bruno. Bruno. Power shot from Bruno. He couldn't even take it. Gumini. Bruno again. Bruno. Chance again. Bruno Fernandez. Chance again. Oh, that hit the post. Okay. Let's check the Sevilla game at halftime. Oh, man. Please. 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 Okay. Sevilla. Sevilla are currently 1 1 with Espanol. Oh, man. There's a chance. We're up 3 0. We just got to keep scoring and hope for the best. Please, Espanol, deliver us the title. Alverde to Vinicius. Vinicius. Oh, what a good pass. Oh, it's beautiful. Ronaldo finesse shot. Okay, that was a, that was a good move. Just no, no goal to show for it. I like the way we're playing, though, heading into the Champions League final. I like the feel and the spirit of the team right now. Vardy, oh, what a tackle. Good pass, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Whoa, I wanted to go to Bruno. Guess to Bruno anyways. Bruno into Valverde. Off to Vinicius. Vinicius, cross in. Okay, that was a bit too much. Try this again. Bruno. Bruno holds it up well. Valverde. Into Holland. Holland. Back to Ronaldo. Okay, this is just too much passing. But we're still going to score. I am passing the ball way too much. 4-0 though. Espanol, please. Holland. 2. Bruno Fernandez. Bruno. Whoa. What did he just do there? He like turned his back towards the defender. I'm not sure you're supposed to do that. Man, I'm, I'm hearing goal news, but I'm hearing nothing for Sevilla. Is that a good thing or bad thing? Because FIFA is not reliable in that sense. We will know in a few minutes right now. Okay, Rudiger, we have like destroyed Cadiz here. We're like overpowering them. Just because I said that, they're going to score here. Watch. Nope. Courtois. Easy. Kimi, Vinicius. We got numbers here for number five, maybe. Holland. Holland, use your pace. Holland. Okay. How is it not a foul? And how did Holland not even go down after that? Bro, the commentators are acting like uh, Sevilla are still drawing and we're going to win the title. That's what they're saying. I don't know if I trust them, though. We got five minutes. Rudiger, good block. Ball in. Valverde gets it out. We got three minutes before we find out. Bruno, great steal. Can we get a fifth just to, like, tie a little bow on the end of the season? I don't think we will. We're about to find out. Have Sevilla lost to Espanol. I think they have. I think they actually have. Oh, they actually did. Espanol actually did us a favor and delivered us the title. They must have drew. Final day, we beat Cadiz. Sevilla just choked the title, and we win La Liga in Season 3, the series finale. Oh, if Sevilla would have won the title again, it would have been such a big disappointment. We win La Liga, though. Man, that win against Sevilla was so big. That allowed us to win the title, actually. And then a Barcelona Clasico to hold the lead, or at least uh, stay one point behind them. And then final day, we overtake them. Ronaldo gets to lift the La Liga trophy. Probably his final season ever. I am so relieved. Leave. that could not have gone any better but we still got the champions league final though if we win that we'll complete the trouble and it would be the most perfect ending to this rummage crew mode possible so one more game left man what a satisfying way to win the la liga title i mean most goals scored though best defense we definitely deserved it so that is two out of three possible trophies la liga copa del rey now it's time for the champions league final which i don't even know if i've revealed it yet but we're facing atletico madrid it's a madrid derby champions league final a team that in season one every match of atletico madrid was so close so this could be amazing right here final stats though holland 32 and 15 we're all 28 and 13 at age 40 just like the star of this series and then vinicius 19 and 10 bruno 10 and 6 for being a new signing in january very solid but oh man one more game left to for the trouble so they got jonathan david joe felix carrasco pellegrini gadesco odegaard oh man that midfield is insane with gadesco and odegaard okay so they're a solid team we know that i think final game uh, Benzema's obviously not back, so it's going to be this team, the same lineup. This is for winning the Champions League uh, in back-to-back -back seasons. We won last year against Barcelona. This year, it's a Madrid Derby Champions League final. Just final game of the series. This team has been so much fun to use. Like, the team is so insane. One more game to see if we can end it on the highest of highs. Okay, we're playing this with the Bernabeu. I mean, that's probably good luck for us. It kind of feels a little bit unfair, but we're basically playing a home Champions League final. We got to win this after La Liga and Copa del Rey. We got to win this to just put a little bow on this series and end it. Atletico Madrid, our team that we've beaten easily also been very close though so i'm not i'm not sure what to expect hey bruno into vinicius vinicius turns vinicius vinicius gets the shot away it's a good block though okay they're very slow to getting on the rebound valverde i should have been more patient there that is a bad pass by Atletico madrid they're they're a little nervous ronaldo oh that touch was terrible though man is 40 years old starting a champions league final what is that touch get out of here ronaldo oh man i was gonna play a give and go of vinicius that would have worked too Jonathan david and joe felix has two strikers up top yeah that's pretty decent also odegaard a player i wanted to sign bring back to real madrid but he's at Atletico madrid oh man oh where's all this space rudiger oh they're gonna track it back they're going to track it back. I think Vardio is out of position. Goose Coven for Davies. 18 minutes in. Atletico Madrid take the lead through Pellegrini. Okay, we got so much time. We got to relax. This happened before. Man, we just we just left him so free there. Like, Valverde, Chumini aren't marking well enough. All right, 1-0 to Atletico. 
uh, 18 minutes in. Well, we know what team we are. We know we can come back in any single game. Too many. He's got space to shoot, maybe. Into Valverde. Into Holland. Holland. Two. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Just like that, it's 1 1. And can you guess who it is? It's Mr. Noodle Hair CR7. What did I say? We know we can come back in any single game, and we've already done it. 1 1. This was patient. Holland finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo outside the boot shot. 40 years old scoring in a Champions League final. Okay, the nerves are settled now. Come on, boys. We need to take over this game right now. Prove that we are the Avengers. Valverde, great steal. Into Holland. Vinicius, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, what a good touch, Ronaldo, Michael all the way, oh man, he's not quick at all anymore, oh man, another good move, another good move, I don't like these, I don't like these, and Jonathan David scores, and it's 2-1 again, at least the 1-0 lead for Letico again, come on, we gotta defend so much better than that, this feels like the season one meetings, like where it's just high scoring games, and it's so close, man, it's just, David got free, that outside the boot shot faked me out, once again, a goal down, we gotta tie this up, might be a very high scoring Champions League final, Kimi, to Valverde, Valverde, can we find Ronaldo, Ronaldo, lay it up to Holland, Holland finesse shot, oh, what a, what a goal by Holland and Ronaldo, that was just beautiful, this is 2-2, what a Champions League final first half, Ronaldo with a little layoff, then Holland, first time finesse shot, settle, settle down the defense, boys, look at this, Ronaldo, little layoff back heel, then Holland, first time shot, and it's, it's just perfect, 2-2, can we stop conceding goals, please, too many, steals it, Ronaldo, in, to Erling Holland, Holland, to Ronaldo. Oh, I was going to do the give and go. Ronaldo was so in there. I don't like these attacks, bro. Rudiger, thank you. David and Felix are giving us issues. Rudiger again would a tackle. Oh, no. That was a rush pass. Please. Okay. Everybody relax. Felix and David are two very mobile strikers. They're pressing a lot. That's a good steal. We have time for an attack, maybe? Holland. Holland. To Ronaldo. We have time. Ronaldo. Oh, he needs, he needs support, though. Oh, we just didn't have it. Okay. 2-2 Due -due first half. Insane. This has got the feeling of like an all-time classic Champions League final. Hakimi in to Erling Holland. Holland. We get it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, man. Just bounced, uh, bounced well for them. Kimi, Jonathan David. Okay, that's solid defending. Jonathan David and Felix are giving me issues right now. Rumini, I need you to play better. He's not play He's not played great this game. That's a good steal, though. Bruno to Holland. Holland, hold it up, please. Just hold it up. Get over to Bruno. 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 We find Holland. We find Holland. Holland. Too close to the keeper, but it doesn't matter. That's 3-2. Bruno Fernandez and Holland combined, and that's a one-goal lead in the 59th minute. That chance came out of nowhere. I didn't even think that Bruno pass was going to get through, but it did. This one right here, it's just a great pass right into, oh, right into the right foot of Holland. 3-2, boys. Come on, 60 minutes in. We've got 30 more minutes left. Oh, Vardy, all great steal. Come on. Take over this game right now. Too many. Into Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, time it with Vinicius. Timed it. Oh, man, he made a weird run. Vinicius. Let's do it. All, all black. What a save. He might have just saved the Atletico Madrid's chances right there. Rowan to CR7. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. I'm going for a long shot. Okay, that was, that was so ambitious. That looks like the shot of a 40-year-old right there. 20 minutes left. I am extremely nervous here. I want to win the treble so bad to end this series. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, man. He just went down. Vinicius. Interception. Bruno. This could kill the game. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Cuts inside, finesse shot. Oh yeah, no black makes the save. It was a good shot by Ronaldo. 15 minutes, a goal right here could settle it. Corner in, it's gonna be Vardy all. Vardy all header. It's right at all black. Whoa, what a throw out. Bro, that's like one of the best uh, throws by a keeper I've seen in FIFA, I think. Oh no, Davies again loses his footing a little bit. Rudiger, that touch right there is so important. 10 minutes, Vinicius, Vinicius. Oh man, man, his first touch was so heavy though. Oh no, boys, come on, stay strong. Hakimi, Hakimi. Misses that tackle. That's not good. Cross in. Vardial gets it out to Akimi. Akimi destroys him. No, that was meant for someone else. Holland gets to it, though. Okay, Erling Holland. Chance to seal it. Erling Holland. He misses. That could have sealed the title. Oh, I should have just ran to the corner. What am I doing? Oh, a minute left. If they get a chance now, I'm going to be so mad. If it was Ronaldo, he scores that. I know it. Come on, win that header, Chumini. Win it. Oh, he doesn't win it. They're going to get a chance. Okay, Chumini, I need you to be the defensive anchor here. I guess not. Oh, what is all this space? Davies, cross in. Get it out, please. Oh, Courtois with the save. They might have just saved our Champions League title. Last kick of the game. All Black is up. Corner sent in. That should be cleared. It's cleared by Valverde. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Ronaldo gets to it. No, he doesn't get to it. But the ref blows the whistle. Okay, we have won the Champions League final. Oh, what a close Champions League final. That was such a good game. First half was amazing. Second, second half was a lot more like timid. But Ronaldo and Holland deliver us the Champions League trophy, especially Holland with that, that third goal. And also the Bruno assist. But we have actually done it. Season three, one more season to win every trophy. Won four out of five. Just missed out on the Supercopa. But if you count major trophies, we just won the treble, which was a beautiful way to end this series. And we've actually done it. Ronaldo is about to lift the Champions League trophy for maybe his final game of his career. Mr. CR7, Noodle Ronaldo, captain's armband in for Benzema. We lose Benzema. Ronaldo, though, still just carries this team to a Champions League title to end the series. And Holland of course 
the Galacticos, the Avengers, whatever this team is, we've actually won the treble. Oh, I'm so relieved. Copa del Rey was easy, but La Liga was not. This game was not. At the end of the day, though, the treble, treble was secured to end our Real Madrid career mode. Just like, what a series for Ronaldo. I can't believe how good he was in this series. But unfortunately, this is the end. Although, great way to end it. One final time, Real Madrid Champions League winners. Man, what a series and what a team. I didn't expect this series to be this much fun, but. So if you enjoyed this series, drop me a like down below. I'd appreciate it a lot. Um, hit that sub button. We are chasing 200,000 subs. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, hope you have a great day.